Anyone that's been around my channel for any considerable amount of time will know how much I love Bethesda Game Studio Games. And we have a new one. And I'm about to record it live for the first time. I am so excited for this. I, I, yeah. Anyway, thanks to Bethesda for the review code. We are playing on PC. Um, we're about to do a part one. And we're doing a big giveaway. I'm giving away a Series X console. This is a worldwide giveaway and a copy of Starfield. To enter the giveaway, all you gotta do is leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment, timestamping your favorite moment from the video. Let's do this. Starfield part one. Let's go. Can't believe I just said that out loud. Starfield part one. I was 100% convinced this month this game was gonna get delayed. Now look at me. Uh, buzzing. Seals are good. Oxygen's good. Just do what you did last time, and you're fine. Follow my one simple rule. Hella, what's my one simple Listen rule? Listen, Elaine. Boss lady knows best. Exactly. Listen to me. Mining's just like any other job. Go steady. Go safe. Go home with a pocket full of credits at the end of the day. Yeah, totally. It's just like, um, now I work in the Stardock. Except, uh, with more cave-ins, lasers, and accidental dismemberment. Very helpful. Thank you. Ah, you're gonna be fine. Your first outing was solid. And, you know, let's be honest, it ain't exactly astrophysics. That's why I keep him around. Good pep talks. Yeah, and the fact that I can pinpoint a helium deposit from 300 meters. <laughs> Not untrue. A shame we won't find any down here. But the metal deposits alone should pay for our own helium. Hell, after this, we'll have enough jump fuel to bounce from one end of the settled systems to the next. Hey, more minerals, more money. And so the cycle repeats itself. Just no more unauthorized jumps in a house for room space, okay? He's just a big baby. There are worse lives. You know, most Dusties don't even make it this far. I have a good feeling about you. A group hug now or at the end of the shift? <sighs> one of these days, Hella? I am going to leave you behind. Promises, promises. Do I have my helmet on? Am I ready to go? I've never seen a Bethesda game look this good. This is crazy. Okay. Oh Let's my. See what we've got. One small How are we step. A uh, little longer. Grab some samples. Always. Uh, but not you. Check on Isabel. Make sure she eases up on the breach. I don't feel like getting buried alive today. Roger that. Remember, Dusty, keep your breathing steady and never take that helmet off down here. Oxygen processors don't extend this far. Yeah, because God forbid we drill on a rock with a breathable atmosphere. Know what I love about working in Freestar Collective Space? Fewer regs. A job like this in the United Colony? <laughs> Dreams of red. Look at this one over here. Calvert! No! Ah, no, no, no! It's a laser, not a sledgehammer! Ease up! <laughs> Benning! I was watching that thinking, wow. Let's go! You're gonna cut yeah. some limbs off. Okay. What do we say, Dusty? You make your cut, you get your cut. No exceptions. Come on, pick it up! Troy, what's the yield? Minimal at this point. Occasional glimmer, but it's weak. What do you think? Stay the course? No, oh, ma'am. Juice ain't worth the squeeze. Well, okay then. Let's call this one tapped. Why don't you move over to that big vein we looked at? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I'll get straight to it. It feels weird starting a, a Todd Howard game. 
not being a prisoner or in a vault. <laughs> it feels really weird. Like, as far as I know, we're, we are free, if that makes sense. Hello. <gasps> we're going to get one. Dusty, you're up. Grab yes. a cutter and mine what you can. All right, hold to equip. I'll shout out when I need you. All right, let's begin. I guess I don't have ammo. Yep. Uh, you think we'll be done here soon? Hopefully. Oh, yeah. right. Keep nice and steady. There we go. Yes. Our first bit of mining. This will be a part of the game. Uh, mining for resources. And yes, there's a couple of similarities to No Man's Sky. <laughs> Is it overheat? It doesn't seem like it. Get back up here. Come in. Okay, don't walk in front of the lasers. I'm pretty sure if I walk in front of that, my limbs are gone. We're off this rock. Time. Goodbye, legs. You're with me. And potentially your third leg as well. And here we go. In three, two, Damn, look at that one. machine. What have we got? Ooh. Oh, no. Uh, Can we go, go through there? Let's go. Ella, get the readings. Yeah, about that. Problem? Uh, not if you consider a spike in gravity readings a problem. What? I don't. You don't? What we're after, it'll read as an anomaly. That's what I was told anyway. Okay, now you're starting to freak me out. Relax. Sparking Just gravity. Another job. Come on. I'm so confused. We're getting close, I think. Yeah, everything is just. <laughs> Lynn, seriously, uh, there's something really effed up about this. Where what? is it, Hella? Through there, I think. Okay, you. You're up. Oh, I'm great. wrong in there. We'll come get you. Great. I'm going first, I know. Why would anything same. go wrong? Would you shut up? Both of you do your jobs. Client is on his way. Okay. What are we looking at right here? Like flashlight, yep. Can I turn it on? Whoop! Lovely. Oh, not mining right now. Um, still getting weird gravity readings. Yep. I, I guess that's a good thing. Just keep Apparently. Going. What? Is that? Do you see anything? I'm looking, I'm looking. One second. What? Okay, so we gotta break down the mineral deposit. Take the strange. What is that? Oh boy. Are we supposed to touch this? In the cosmos. Oh, there's been more to this game than meets the eye. It's not just about shooting people and exploring some planets. Oh, did I just pass out? So I've touched that object and I just passed out. Hey, come on, come on. Okay, take it easy. You were out Woo. cold. Uh, no physical damage. Mentally, the jury's still out. You know who you are? New recruit for Argos Extractors? Ring any bells? Any of this look familiar? Has my brain just gone completely blank? Potentially. Right, so this is where we get to create our character. Man, I'm just... Oh. I don't, yeah, it's madness. So is there... Are there like presets for us, I guess, that we can select from? How many are there? Is it 30, 40 different personal records? Apparently. As you start at one and decide what to go for next. Biometric ID. So I'm guessing we can eventually sort of go into the um, into the biometrics and do like more customization to the character. Number one's pretty cool, like his hair. I'm gonna go for a male character. I'm hoping there's a lot of romance in this game. I'm just gonna come out and say it. He's a pretty cool looking dude. I like his hair. Lovely facial hair, very nice. 
Very nice. The, you can tell there's definitely like a, a big step up, which is really nice to see um, from their previous games in terms of like the graphics quality, uh, the animations as well, the dialogue. It just feels like they're, they're taking a good step. <laughs> that man needs to retire. They'll be exploring the cosmos, the galaxy. Is it like 70 planets from this game? Something ridiculous. I'm honestly tempted by a number one. Yeah, loads of different sizes, hair colors, bald, facial hair. It's a pretty cool looking dude. 33. I'm going to go for... Look at, whoa. Hello, 80s. Look at that. What a hairdo. Incredible. Let's go for one. Yeah, we're going to start with one. I like number one. I choose you. And we get to select the body. The one, what sort of body types we got? It's got a female body type. Got different walk styles. Okay. A bit more of a manly walk, I'd say. Yeah, perfect. Muscular. Can I, I can change this. I don't even know. Oh, is that just... Okay. So if I want to go for more of a thin cat. Whoa. Manny that you burger. That's me. <laughs> Muscular. Yeah, that's, that's a good looking body right there. That's a good looking body. Face. I'll probably go in depth on this a bit more. It may be a separate video at some point, potentially. So, go a bit more square, a bit wider. So we've got the preset ready and ready to go. There seems to be, how many hairstyles we got? Can I pick, click and drag this? I can't. Whoa. I guarantee not many people are picking that. I'm just saying. I'm, I'm sorry to be offensive, <laughs> but it's true. It is true. Oh, boy. So can we... We can rotate as well. Yep. Next one. Not too bad. I quite like 25. Yeah. I will remember 25. That's not too bad. 23. <laughs> <laughs> oh no oh no there's, there's a few there's, there's a few interesting hairstyles very nice good fade there as well very nice it's hard to get a good fade on a video game uh, 25 I think it was looking smart looking suave how many hair colors whoa okay you can go as, as eccentric as you want. I guess it'd be nice to have like a, a completely random slider, so you can just select whatever color you want. Let's go for a nice brown. Oh, facial hair, yes. How many facial hairs do we have? Show me them! 20, oh, that is some exquisite facial hair. Ah, there's more, I was gonna say. Facial hair color, so I guess I'm gonna match the beard. Is that the same color? I actually quite like 18. Where we stopped. 18 is pretty good. Little chin strap. You can spend so much time on these things, can't you? Honestly. But it's, I find it really important to, obviously, to make my character, but I know people that I find it really really important um, I think I might leave the eyes but again there's tons of options I think one sort of suits our character quite well and you can refine it as well so you can go back properly in and sort of change as much as you wish let's go for one uh, we've got lovely brown eyes gonna stick with that eyebrows I'm pretty happy with but again you got loads of options forehead ooh Yeah, I like how there is like a set of default foreheads, and then obviously there's more once you can go in and refine if you want to, to make your character. Nose. Whoa, hello. So there's a, a big difference. I it's like a little acute difference. Nope. Bam. Small nose, big nose. That's a good nose. That's a good nose. Teeth. <laughs> a little bit terrifying. They're good teeth, yeah, I'll stick with those. So you've got jewelry if you want to, a little nose piercing. 
Hello. Nice big hoop. George Michael style. Right, yeah, let's go let's go for one. Uh, you can also change the colour. With different necks. Oh, that is a strong Jeez. I don't think I've ever seen a neck like that before. I guess I don't really look. Slightly more muscular neck. Need, need like an F1 neck, which is really thick. So like the complexion, I guess. Also, you can change the, the temperature. Oh. Yeah, we'll leave that there before I ruin it. Oh, Scott, there's so much on the face. <laughs> it just keeps going down. Um, yeah, it's got to look at scars. Is there any like, really cool scars? Damn, someone's taking a big slash out of here. I was expecting like a little tiny one. That's, that's quite a good one. Like you, You've seen some battles, but not too many. I call it that one. Because I guess I'm a fairly sort of new... Oh. Yep, tons and tons of options. Yeah, let's go for... Eight. What's this facial form? How does that work? What does that change? I don't even know at this point. Seems to... Mainly be under the eyes. Oh, tattoos. Is there any cool tattoos? Is that? That's a paw print going through my eye. Imagine getting that done though. I'd be so worried. I'd be bricking it. Imagine like they slipped and just poked your eye. Hell no. Personally, I think I'm going to leave the tattoos. Got cheeks as well. The lips is that lipstick base? It's got the base color, and then there's a color you put on top as well. Yep, wow, eyeshadow, eyeliner, dirt. I guess it's probably been quite a, a dirty day, but I guess, I guess that will keep the dirt on permanently, won't it? So we can turn it off for now. I'm pretty happy with my character there, nothing too crazy. I actually can't believe how many backgrounds there are. I don't even know where to begin. I, I really, I really don't. This is, this is actually insane. Beast Hunter. So I've got uh, the starting skills of fitness, ballistics, and gastron gastronomy. I said that completely wrong. So that is about using the new ingredients of the worlds. Ballistas, ballistics, obviously, what is this on the tin? And fitness, which is interesting. Um, the greatest commodity is oxygen, or O2. An increased lung capacity gained by regular physical fitness is essential for survival. So that's quite good. Bouncer, good at boxing, security, and fitness. Ooh, bounty hunter. I could be like a Boba Fett. Good at piloting. Targeting control systems. Booster pack training. Could be quite good. A chef, gastronomy, dueling, scavenging, uh, combat medic, pistol certified, which could be quite good, actually. Medicine and wellness. Cyber Runner. Ooh. Stealths. I mean, I'm not great at stealth, so I'm probably going to stay away from stealth, honestly. Security and thefts. Cyberneticist. Is that how you say it? Anyway, medicine, security, and lasers. Diplomat. Hell no. Not doing that. Persuasion, commerce, and wellness. Explorer. How, how would a diplomat end up being a miner? Anyway. Astrodynamics, which is advanced technology is one thing, but it takes skill, patience, and a little bit of love to coax even more capacity out of the ship's grav drives. Ooh. Uh, surveying, a gangster, shotgun certified, uh, boxing, and I'm a thief again. Homestead, geology, surveying, and weightlifting, what? Is this GTA San Andreas? Oh, this is awesome. Industrialist, persuasion, security, and research methods. Long hauler, weightlifting again. Piloting and ballistic weapon systems, a pilgrim, savaging, surveying, and gastronomy, professor, professor, astrodynamics, geology, and research methods. What's that? So, by skillfully employing both new and timed test methods, a researcher may complete projects faster and gain even more unexpected insights. Ooh, a Ronin, Julian, stealth, scavenging. Sculptor, medicine, geology, persuasion. A soldier, which I must admit is quite tempting. 
just to go for a base soldier. Ballistics, fitness, which sounds quite important, and the booster pack. A space scoundrel. That does sound pretty good. <laughs> That's the one that's tend to me quite a bit. So good, bad, who's right to say? If there's anything you've learned while trespassing through the galaxy is that space may look black, but it's really one big shade of gray. That sounds really cool, actually. A xenobiologist. I'm guessing you look into the aliens. <laughs> it's the, the new alien life forms you've seen on these planets. Lasers, surveying, and fitness. So if you go for final found, you go for wellness, ballistics, and piloting. So what does it say for this? Oddly, there's no information on fire about your past. So just nothing at all. Deletion by some powerful unknown faction, potentially. Or was there nothing to note, to mention? Whatever the reason, your past is, is known only to you. What's important is here and now, and the path you choose to forge. So basically starting completely from scratch. I'm very tempted by the space scandal. That sounds really fun. Soldier sounds quite good as well. Persuasion sounds really useful as well. I do like talking my way out of situations. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, let's go for Space Scoundrel for now. I'm not sure if that's going to be 100% what we go for, but that's the one that's tempting me quite a bit. Oh, now we've got to pick a trait. <laughs> Damn, this, guy, this is intense. This is kind of mad. I can have alien DNA. So you volunteered for a controversial experiment that combines alien and human DNA. As a result, you start with increased health and O2, but the healing and food items aren't as effective. That sounds mad. Okay. You own a luxurious, customizable house on a peaceful planet. Unfortunately, it comes with a 125,000 credit mortgage. I'm not sure. I don't think I want another mortgage right now. My, my, my real one is just enough. Impath, you are deeply connected to the feelings of others. Performing actions your companions like will result in a temporary increase in combat effectiveness, but performing actions that don't they don't like will have the precise opposite effect. Okay. An extrovert. So you like being around people. Interesting. Hmm. Exerting yourself uses up less O2 when adventuring with human companions. But that's interesting. Why does, why does it state human companions? Is that alien companions? But more when adventuring alone. Hmm. I don't know about that. I'm not quite sure how I feel about that. Free Star Collector Settler. You get access to a special Free Star Collective dialogue option and better rewards for some missions given by the faction. But, but crime bounty towards other faction is greatly increased. Can't be combined with any other faction alliance trait. So could we be a free star collective settler? Ooh. Hero worshipped. You earn the attention of an annoying Dorian fan. If any of you guys have played any Bethesda games or Bethesda Game Studio games, you know what this is about. So it was shown in the gameplay, I believe, that bright, gin, not ginger, the bright uh, blonde short guy comes up to you. Um, so he'll join your crew and give you gifts. I do quite that one. So I really like being alone, which does sound a bit like myself, but I don't think I want to be by myself within the game. So you can be like introverted if you want to, which is definitely what I'm like, but anyway. Uh, kid stuff, your parents are alive and well. That's cool. You can visit them at their homes, but they will automatically send you 2% of your credits home to them every week. Oh, okay. Hmm. Uh, right, so you're a street rat. You grew up on, on the mean streets of Neon. You gain access to special dialogue op options and better rewards for some missions on Neon. Crime bounty by other fashion is greatly increased. Can I combine with any other? Okay, got it. Uh, you grew up as a member of the Enlightened. You gain access to special chest items in the house of the Enlightened. <sighs> Raised universal. How, the only thing with picking a, a faction or someone to align with, I don't really know how they function yet. So I guess that's probably where maybe my second playthrough I can do something different, I guess. But it's kind of weird having to like pick my alliance like right now. You grew up as a Sanctum Universum. You gain access to a special chest in the Sanctum Universum. Okay, good to know. Serpent Embrace. You grew up worshiping the Great Serpent. Grav Jumping provides a temporary boost to health and O2. Your body has become amalgamated to space. Health and O2 are increased when you're in space. 
but decrease on the surface. I'd imagine I spend probably more time on the surface. That's probably not the best way to go. Taskmaster. Occasionally, if you have crew trained in certain ship systems, that system will automatically repair itself in full health whenever it's damaged below 50%. However, all crew costs twice as much to hire. Damn it. Okay. Hmm. You'd never acclimatize to space. Health and uh, O2 is increased on the surface. Okay. Uh, you get access to a special United Connolly's dialogue options and are better rewards for some missions given by the faction. I don't know who to go with, honestly. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Someone has put a price on your head and word has spread. Occasionally, armed mercenaries will show up to try and kill you, but being corner gives you an edge. When your health is low, you do extra damage. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Right, so I am tempted to go for the Neon Street Rats, um, which is probably, <laughs> I may end up regretting this, but I'm going to have something a little bit different. Um, the Free Star Collective Settlers is probably one of the best ones to go for, potentially. Yeah. Neon Street Rat. There we go. Uh, so you see a couple of these have been cornered off already. So I can also go for... I'm raised as a universal or enlightened if I want to, which is interesting. I could do that. Oh, it'd be quite cool to have parents, wouldn't it? I want to have hero worshipper because <laughs> I think it'd be quite funny. Um, uh, maybe like just kid stuff. Is that the most like boring selection? Um, or maybe oh, it'd be quite cool to have my parents alive. It would be. It really would be. It'd be quite cool to maybe like be wanted though as well. No, I'm happy with that. So I'm hero worshipped. Don't know particularly what, what what I've done to do that, but I'm a street rat. So I gain some special dialogue with them um, on Neon. So that'd be a planet we definitely want to try and go to. Yeah, let me know if any of these like really like tempt you. Like the alien DNA one sounds insane. <laughs> that just sounds insane. I don't really. It does sound quite sort of cool to have a, a property. Um, but that mortgage would scare me. It would sound quite scary. Yeah, that's what we're going to go for. Boom. Name. Scott. Is that possible? It's called Scott. Yeah, that sounds good. Um, what? Name, character, confirm? Confirm, I guess? Almost forgot about your application. Oh, he's a the pronoun. One okay. note Ooh. I had on your file was troublemaker. <laughs> well, you got the sample. Client's on his way. Then we all get paid. You remember anything that happened? Honestly, no, not really. There was this light and some music. It was incredible, like a dream or a vision. Everything's a, everything goes blank after I went into that tunnel. Oh, well, that's a little bit of a lie. Um, as far as I know, or just realised, the FPS has gone down to 45. Wow, okay. Um, it went blank. Yeah. Huh. Weird. Well, makes the paperwork easier. And we got what we were looking for. Just completely lied. All this trouble for that stupid thing? Huh. Sure don't look like much. Never mind what it looks like. It's worth more than this mine has pulled in all month. We'll be... Oh. Speak of the devil. Speak of the devils. Who's turned up? Our constellation contact is on approach. Oh, wait. Wasn't that one of the traits we could go for? Group? Yep. <laughs> I thought they were kind of a joke. Apparently not. Not a joke. You're just too young to know better. Hey, I'm just saying they got a reputation. Hell, I bet half the crew here doesn't even believe they really exist. Oh, that's a baby. Half the crew doesn't believe Earth exists, but it's still there. Same with Constellation. Yeah, but come on. Exploring space? <laughs> Who does that anymore? Ain't the space we've already got complicated enough? Not to them, apparently. All right, Dusty. Airlock. Put your helmet on. Oh, that'd be a fabulous idea. Helmet on. That's a good looking helmet. Woo! Looking good. Looking good. So 
it's coming down now. Oh, wow. Damn! That is so cool. That is very cool to see. It's not old, it's a classic. Classics, classics are good. It's a classic for a reason. So it's going to be a friendly meeting or? It's kind of daunting knowing that those are like my locked in traits now and I can't change them. It's quite intimidating. Not sure how I feel. Barrett? Man! Been a long time. It has. <laughs> yes, it has. That mine on Bindi, right? Kazal, hellhole, like this place. Rare mineral contract. Your tastes are a bit more sophisticated now, huh? So, you found something? Right here. The new guy found it. That right. And everything went cool? Just like grabbing those minerals on Bendy? Kazal, and no Barrett, not cool. He passed out after the extraction. Doesn't even remember what happened. Is that right, cowboy? Went on a trip, huh? Uh, yeah. You could definitely call it that. Yeah. <laughs> that fun, huh? Not the most gentle push into the great mysteries of space, but hey, been there. The mysteries of space. Hand over the credits, and this I'll thing's big, isn't it? This thing, this thing is, uh, ever again. important. That's why I like you, Lynn. All business. Barrett, the scanners on the frontier are reporting a ship coming in hot from orbit. Oh, you are kidding me. Really Where? I thought I lost them. Oh, Barrett? yeah. Barrett, you idiot. You brought pirates here? You kidding me? Everybody get ready. Oh, this is bad, bad, bad. Is that pistol? Yes. Take it. Do I have a definitely equipped it? I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh boy. Okay. Oh, they're from uni, aren't they? Here they come. They'll be doing some hits, but I'm still doing a lot of damage. I'm getting a little bit close up. I'll flank them a little bit. Oh shit, another one there. Oops. Well, it's a headshot, isn't it? Oh, his backpack blew up. I'm sure this is the best cover. Best this guy can help me out. Oh, I should get like a sort of um, an orange hit marker when it's done like a partial hit. This guy's like cooling away. That's cool. Very cool. Is that all of them? Oh, there's still a couple more left. Get to them ASAP. Sit down, fool. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, the backpacks are definitely their weak points. Are we good? Is everyone alive? Woo! Of course Barrett was being followed. Of course he was. Damn it. Could have told me. Fine work on the pressure. Thank you. You dug up the artifact, right? That means you saw it. I didn't the see visions. anything. You're coming with me to Constellation. You're part of this now. What? If they tell me that the artifact is yours, I mean, ooh. If you're taking me off to that damn moon, sign me up. Whoa, wait, whoa, wait, wait, wait. I didn't ask for any of this. I don't want this. What are you talking hey, about? Um wasn't gonna bring it up, but we don't exactly know what the artifact might have done to your head. Oh, lovely. And Constellation is really the only group qualified to help. Oh, fantastic. Oh, no, Barrett. No. You think you're just going to take off after the mess you caused? Oh, right. I guess I did just put you all on the Crimson Fleet hit list. 
How about I stay and I send your Dusty here in my place? I, I, I know, I know, but he's not some miner anymore, Lynn. Soon as he touched that rock, something changed. Don't tell me you can't feel it. Fine. It's a deal. Get out of here, Dusty. You're on to bigger things. What? Seriously? No way, not my job. That was, I just got this job. Don't you get it? You don't have a job here anymore. Fantastic. You're with those explorers now. Like it or not. Just go, alright? Figure out what happened to you when you touched that rock. Well, now that that's settled. Vasco, get him to the lodge. No deviations unless absolutely necessary, okay? Protocol Indigo. Indigo? Again. Very well. Oh, and hey, take this. You'll find it very useful out there. And it even tells the time. Ooh, isn't this a part of the collector's edition? I need this watch. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure it is, isn't it? Hey, look at that. Ooh. The watch fits you perfectly. Now, questions? I, just, I got like a million questions. What? Why? Why just send me? I don't get it. So, yeah, one sec. I was just going to try and take this in a little bit. Are you giving me your ship? Technically, it's not even mine. Oh. Consider it alone. Vasco will keep you on course. Besides, I'm making an exception, since you can tell Constellation about that vision you had. Fair enough. What exactly did we dig up? That, my friend, is the million credit question. And Constellation can find the answer. With your help. All right. What is the constellation? See, that's the problem with the settled systems. Too easy to take everything for granted. While everyone else is busy playing politics, we're the ones braving the unknown, charting the vastness of space. Without us, the galaxy is just a big room with the lights turned out. Why was the Crimson Fleet after you exactly? They're just following the loop, like ah. pirates do. And I have something of a reputation as a loot collector. Ah, that does make sense. Okay, fair play. And Vasco, don't let him break my ship. No, I won't break your ship. It's fine. This attack better not be coming out of our pay. It's a pretty big attack. What I'm gonna do is just loot some of their bodies. Oh, don't mind if I do. I'm not even sure how much loot I can actually take right now. So that was our first fight. I think it went fairly well. We're sort of thrown into the deep end. Were you in that dust up? What do you... <laughs> you know you don't get paid extra for bravery, right? All right. Just trying to do my job. Keep everyone alive. All right. I think we're good to go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So this is basically my ship now. Well, I'm going to claim it, at least. Oh, there's my watch. Ever seen that? In the bottom left-hand corner. Sweet. I'll take that med kit. Thank you very much. We boarded the frontier. Oh, this is so cool! Captain Scott. It's Captain so Scott. You know how to fly a Class A starship? As Barrett likes to say, it's as easy as learning to ride a bike. I will attempt to boost the shields just in case there are any difficulties. That is so cool. I even said Captain Scott. I just I just typed my name in, and I guess they've got like a couple of preset names that they can say. Captain Scott. That just reminds me of um. Isn't this like the very first like trailer we saw? Anyway, I am the pilot of my ship. Let's go. Shields ready. The rest is up to you. Oh, this is so cool. Hold to take off. Do it. Let's go. I guess it's a sort of like a promotion, right? We've got our own ship now. We can do what we want to a certain extent. Just got an achievement. Enter space for the first time. Mm. Am I able to control the ship? I am. Okay. Now that we are in orbit, it might be wise to test all controls and systems to ensure they are not on the verge of catastrophic failure. 
I can step you through the entire process. Or, if you're already an experienced pilot, just power up all the systems and we'll be on our way. Right, so I believe um, we can switch between the systems. So you can see them in the bottom left-hand corner. I've seen this in the, in the gameplays. So you've got like say, laser, engine, gravity there, I think, as well. Grav, grav drives. You can skip the tutorial by powering up all systems, including the grav drive, if you wish to. So hold down left alt and use... There we go. Or you can choose like the up down arrows on, on the power. keyboard. Allocating power is under your direct control. Let's go over the engines. Engines control our maximum speed. Try increasing Oof. and decreasing our relative velocity. I'm using W to increase the speed. I think that's as fast as we can go. A ship's engine has a sweet spot for better handling during turns. Draw your attention to the HUD. You'll notice a speed indicator in the lower left with a gauge that goes up and down as yep. you adjust the throttle. Try to center the gauge so that it lines up with the center of the vertical bars to its right. Is that... Is that there? I think that's it there. Boost can be engaged or temporary. So that's the optimal speed. speed for this aircraft, basically. Then we can boost. Boom! Full speed. Get about 290. Let's turn our attention to the shields. Try adjusting power to the shields. Notice okay. more power increases their strength. Shields protect the ship from hull damage. Is that shields? Without a hull, but be vaporized. Yeah, I think that's shields. Shield health is displayed in the lower right. Hull damage oh, right. is below it. Okay, yeah. So the shield is that circle thingy. That is optimal, like decision with the movements. I can really get a good You've shot on the target. Pilot. Thank Are you. you. With ship oh boy! Come on, man! Really? We will need to disable their shields. Laser-based weaponry is particularly effective. If you can keep the enemy ship centered on the HUD, we can lock in to fire a home ah, missile. Uh, the enemy shields are down, Captain. Ballistic weaponry excels at damaging the hull once shields are offline. Drive. Yeah, buddy! Oh, that was actually pretty cool. That was, oh! Congratulations <gasps> Close, on third person as well. your first Jesus. Assault, Captain. That looks so good. We can search the wreckage for spare parts and other salvage. Okay, yep. We'll need to fly sense. close to it before we can access the remains. Speed up a little bit. And then grab, just press E. Yep. Anything else here? I think that might be it, as far as I can tell. I think that's all a bit. Ow. <laughs> Not the best idea. Oh, I took us on my shield. Did I grab it all? Two more Crimson Fleet ships are jumping into oh, our location, boy. Captain. Why, why? Where are we? Do do do. Lock in, lock in, lock in. You can switch between the targets as well. If you need to. Lock on target. Aren't you from that explorer's group? Don't they take no. you to fly? I'll take down the shoes. And then blister their ass. For oh, one sec, I'm just locked onto us. Don't have a hit, I think it might have been. Shoes. Don't want the shoes to come back. One down. Anyway. Uh, one last crimson fleet ghost ready to take down. Where are you? Where 
Where are you? You're tricky. I'll give you that. Where are you? Going round and round in circles. I can't find you. Shields offline. Great. Where is he? There he is. Jesus. I can't find him. Boost after them. Keep close, keep close. Come on. Eat that. Yes. Woo. Far more than anticipated. At this rate, the odds of continual assault from their ships are high enough to jeopardize our mission. In short, they are after the frontier and will not stop. We will need to deal with the local Crimson Fleet captain. A recent scan indicates an abandoned facility on the nearby moon of Crete. A perfect staging area for pirates. Oh boy. Mission update. Travel to Crete. Do we need to do it right now? Apparently. Alright, give me those credits. Thank you very much. Right, so let's lock in where we need to go. Oh, we need to press tab. Go to the star map. There we go. Travel between the stars. Zoom out to see the entire star system. Zoom out again to see all the stars in the settled systems. Plot a course by selecting the star system you want to travel to. I want to go to Crete. See, there's a few bits here already where you can go to. Star systems, star stations, ships. Is this Crete? It is Crete. Let's go there. Meet Crete. Can we set a target? Set course. Travel. Go! Crete, here we come! The game ran really nicely as well. Doing those slides were just quite nice. Obviously, this is very much a learning process, this first episode. Um, we glad we made it. In orbit. The abandoned facility with our Crimson Fleet captain is on the surface. Um, open up the data menu. From there, you can open up the star map. Okay. Right, can we see the system? We can. We can land. Let's do it. Land, land, land. I got this game installed on quite a very quick hard drive, so I'm hoping the loading is pretty quick, and it is. Very nice. I'll follow you from here on out, Captain. Barrett didn't tell us to do this, by the way. Uh, but apparently, we need to do it, so... Ooh, that was a ship leaving. Damn, this game just has so much atmosphere. It feels so big. I love it. So, temperature is 25 degrees. Gravity is 0.55. Seems like we're quite good for it. Oh, this is what we've seen. <gasps> I remember seeing this. This is like early gameplay, isn't it? You gonna attack me? No, they're more scared of me. Good. I guess then we can later on scan life forms and stuff. I haven't got around to doing that just yet, but yeah, this is the gameplay they showed off. This was like super early gameplay, wasn't it? Be careful, Captain. Alien creatures. Speak of the devils. Are often unpredictable. Whoa. Oh, great. Commencing combat. I don't I've got my laser out for, but. Your performance in that conflict was beyond adequate. Thank you. I managed to scan it. 13% scanned. Oh. Uh, let's quickly get my pistol out as well. There we go. So, F to bring up the scanner. Ooh. That tells me where to go as well. Else to scan? Oh, there is. Can I scan that? Uh, e to scan. I guess we can mine that, right? I believe so. Right, so we're gonna always probably need a cutter on me. Would it get through that? Oh, it does get through that. Very nice. 
iron deposits. I don't think we can grab them, though. Looks like that currently... Oh, it did. It did add iron. Okay, good. I was going to say. What else we can scan? What's this? More iron? Looks like I've found the research lab. What's this? Silver. Guessing it doesn't always give you the resource, maybe? I don't know quite how it works yet, honestly. I would imagine the reception is not going to be particularly friendly. Um, also, how do we quickly heal? We put this as like a quick select. Let's put this as... Oh, so it's currently zero. Um, that works, I guess. I think mean, that's zero. But oh. <laughs> I don't know. Siren crews all fly under the same banner. Must they stop. are typically unscrupulous and violent. Hmm. What a surprise. So quick look outside first before we enter. Never know what you might find. Or maybe there's different ways to get in. Jumps feel pretty cool, actually. Feels like I'm on the moon. Obviously, every planet will feel a little bit different uh, due to its gravity percentage. Right, should I heal up now? Or should we head in? I'm going to head in. Okay, and I'm not expecting the reception to be particularly friendly. But what can we do? Some heal paste as well. Here we go. Wish me luck. Oh boy. Oh boy, boy, boy. I mean, maybe we can talk to them. Curious. These are United Colonies markings, but we are in Freestar Collective space. It then stands to what reason that? that this was once a secret UC Rich. facility. That was horrific. I love the details like this. I could easily walk past this, and there's so much fine details in this. Absolutely mad. Lots of little cabinets and things you can open up as well. This is a fridge. Fridge of the future. Can we scan these things? Ugh. Ugh. Not a fan. Freaking leeches. Alright, let's head upstairs. Have a little nosy round. Anyone here? I'm gonna heal. There we go. I healed. So it takes... A little while to go up, it's not like an instant health as well, so that's that's noted. Just need to be a little bit prepared. Surprisingly quiet, isn't it, guy? Isn't it, guys? Oh, look, you've been dead for a while. And that's safe to say. Pick up some books if you want, <laughs> if you really want. Yeah, I love the fact in this game, I could pick up, I don't know, foam cups or sandwiches. And I could just collect them and it will remember where I left them. I could have like piles of sandwiches in my ship if I want to. Um, it's completely up to you. I find that kind of crazy. Want to grab here? Nope. It's very quiet. I feel like they're setting up a trap. Like, they know I'm coming. Hello? I smell something. What's that? Heart plus? Oh. You stand in my way often, don't you? Okay, I can hear it. I can hear laughter. Oh, boy. Hello? Okay, was, we, can't, we can't talk there. <laughs> Noted. One time round. By the way, the game's running really nicely. Sort of like 80 at the moment. Peace is no longer a viable option. 
I mean, I was going to chat to him, but I guess not. I guess that just wasn't viable, was it? So I guess we fight for our survival. So be it. Anyone in the toilets? Guess not. Who's it coming? That. Jeez. I don't know what's going on over there, but I don't like it. A pencil case. Just what I've always wanted. This is such a cool room, though. Like, I want to be here right now. It does. It sounds weird, but it sounds like a. It feels like a futuristic Fallout. That's the feel I'm getting right now. I'm a bit of a Fallout, particularly Fallout 3 fanboy and New Vegas. I love those games. So much. Like ridiculous amounts. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. So I'm just taking my time here. It's definitely not a game I want to rush. I, I want to. Ooh. Fire rate. Mass accuracy, pretty good. A pretty good find. A mixing bowl again. If you want to collect mixing bowls and store them on your ship, like you, you do you. You do you. Let's quickly heat up again. again they, gave, they gave me quite a few uh, med kits and antibiotics, and, so it's not all bad. Should I have a grenade right now? I don't think I do. Can I? How do I hit them? So I believe the. Oh, damn it! What happened there? Ugh. He's running at me. The loon. I think there's a couple of guys to my left. I think they might have spotted me, or I got hurt. I don't know. Whoa! Got stuck. <laughs> That's not a nice feeling. And they lost. They love just running at me with an axe. Where are you? Where are you? Does this guy have a weapon? Oh, gee. I'm out. I'm out. Level two, baby! In two seconds. It is absolutely horrible. Pain is not good. Paper cuts particularly. Let's try a little melee attack. Oh! Oh! A critical to the head. Shame! Great shooting there, Scout. We did find the pistol quite hard to shoot. I don't know why. Whew. I just got some cheese. I can collect cheese. Violence, see enemy, is no longer visible. Searching. There's no viable enemy right now. I see one on my HUD. Be completely there honest. There is no enemy nearby. You Resume sure about that? Systematic wandering. Picked up some ramen. Lovely. Yes, yeah, so there was a barrel there we could have shot. Maybe exploded that. The stuff that's actually worth quite a bit of money here that I'm probably missing. Whoops. Listen up. We got someone trying to jump our score. Hold them off here. Our broken sets up on the roof. I'm on it. No one's getting through. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> they know we're coming. All right, do we have any other like options in terms of weapons? Because this has very few bullets. Um that does not look great. Let's see, with that or the axe. Great! Yep, yeah, it's pretty. Actually, do we have any ammo for this? We may do. Does it say how much ammo we've got? 
And we can then favor this one. Let's have a look. We do have some ammo for this. Sweet! Switch, switch, switch. Right, let's go. Like a P90. Stop the machine gun. Oh, I forgot. Can we level up? Yay! I forgot. You receive one skill point to spend every time you level up. Each skill also unlocks a challenge. Oh, complete the challenge and then spend a skill point to rank up the skill. Okay, sounds a little bit similar to more like a Skyrim, maybe? I don't know. Uh, the top row represents basic skills. The rows below are locked until you have spent a minimum number of skills in that category. Okay. So we've got combat, we've got social, physical, science, and tech. I know this one sounds a bit boring, but I think going with science and medicine is definitely a viable option, I reckon. That's probably the option we should probably go for. Yeah. Okay, so the initial like skills that we selected early on are are equipped already. Um, I, I guess that's not really going to have like, a massive impact on later gameplay. Yeah, let's go for medicine first. I mean, that'd be a good one to go for. As boring as that is. There we go. There we go. Done, done, done. Yeah, that's a good one. Definitely, in terms of shooting, by far the best Bethesda game. Like, already after this shooting is so much better. So much better. Like, it's not even comparable. As much as I miss bats, bats will be quite cool. Anyone else left? Now, ammo goes really quickly. Is that just my really bad shooting? <laughs> I think it might be. It might be. We may have some pirate armor available right now that we could definitely equip. Heart plus, okay. These guys thought they've been dead for a while. Uh, maybe the atmosphere's sort of um, frozen them a little bit. Maybe. Anything I can grab that's worth a bit of money, I'll take it. <laughs> I will take it. Uh, definitely heal now. Took a few hits there. Ooh. Yep. Is that... I don't know if 240 credits is worth much. I don't know. I don't know. Just grabbing stuff right now. With no hesitation. we're going upstairs where is this pirate leader I will find you and I will hunt you down and I will kill you this is for trying to take down my ship by the way you just gotta do what you gotta do what's this oh hello it's like a full operating system thanks to the UC Marines we now have the second piece of the puzzle a fully grown alpha predator oh god why are you playing out the Terramorphs and putting aliens into human DNA and stuff? What are you doing? These people never watch any films. It's a terrible, terrible idea. Oh, hello. Is that a helmet? Epic item acquired. Wow. Okay, so top two of you guys are playing the game. Make... One sec. This is lockpicking. <gasps> okay. I have no idea how this works. So press E. No. Ah, there we go. That works. Yes. Okay, we got it. Yeah, I can't work out how to do that yet. I hope that might slow, but I guess this one's not. Got enough. I don't have to do it yet. <laughs> I don't have to do it. Uh. Okay. Shoot. Are we going to open that? No. I basically don't have any lockpicks left. Shoot. I'm detecting a safe nearby. Oh. We could make there. It scan it. Yeah, scan it. Stupid idiot. 
I don't know why I decided to scan it. Oh, are we going to try and unlock it here? Maybe they're going to teach us how to do it now. Because that would definitely be useful. A couple of ammos as well. I guess when we leave out of this ladder to the roof, and that's where it all kicks off again. Oh. We're all dead. We're all dead, man. The comms relay has been trashed. The whole room is trashed. We can't call for help. I can hear the terror morph roaring somewhere. And more people screaming. <laughs> okay. A little bit dark there. Alright, let's try and give this another go. Game, teach me how to do this. I beg. I beg, I beg, I beg. So... This might slip in. Oh, that doesn't fit. Let's try this one. So that one is perfect, right? Oh, that will work. Done. Is that right? I think. And then how do we get this? One. That works, right? Yes! Okay, we're doing it. We are doing it. Yes! And then one more. Yay! Kill him! Come on! So we got 368 credits. Lovely. Got a heart plus. What does this do? Um, so health goes up for 20%. For two minutes, I'm guessing that is for. And damage resistance two minutes that sounds pretty good uh restores five percent health for nine seconds okay sweet should we go back to that previous safe i'll try and open up that as well i'm sure no i've run out okay all right i guess we're going to the surface should we go to our infantry and use one of these heart plastics i feel like it's about to uh it's about to kick off or do I save it? Um, let's use one. I've done it. I don't know how it works with um, like overdosing and stuff like that in this game yet. I've got no idea. Got a few make kits here as well. Ooh, adaptive deep mining pack. some good stuff down here is there any equipment we want to equip before we leave uh, not too bad slight batters like with crow crocibs and thermals that's the pirate charger suit it does look pretty good cool actually as well uh, we have this minor utility outfit this is slightly better apart from thermals so that will go underneath our suit. And then we've got any maybe different helmets. Do, 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 do. Got this new one here. Does it look exactly the same? Was it me? Well, that's kind of annoying. So resources weigh 25% less. That is pretty good. That is pretty good. Okay. But there's going to be pirates outside. Yep. Do you want to chat or? You got to be kidding me. He's on the frontier has a new captain. You working with Barrett or did you pry the ship keys out of his cold, dead hands? I'm with the coalition. You need to stop attacking our ships. Ooh. Uh, that's right. I killed Barrett. So to tell your pirate friends to back off. Ooh could lie that'd be quite tempting oh no you see we weren't really after barrett oh shoot we're after that <laughs> ship fair enough every crimson fleet rook hears about the frontier that constellation keeps treasure hidden in the cargo bays the loot from a hundred planets that statement is partially correct the frontier has been to many planets and moons but the only things held in the cargo bays are spare parts dust desiccated food particles, and a variety of species of ant. Why ants? I don't care what kind of lies Barrett programmed that robot to say. We're oh. taking that ship. 
There's nothing in the ship, though. Right, let's try and persuade him. There's no treasure in my ship. Cut your losses before more people get hurt. Agreed. You're not talking us out of this score. Shoot, it failed. To persuade a person, <clears throat> you can successfully uh, do successful choices. Choices can range from kind words to distractions to threats. Each choice has a difficulty. The higher the difficulty, the greater the chance the choice fails. But the more points you learn when you succeed. You have a limited number of choices to make, but you can never fail if your last choice succeeded. Okay. Oh, okay. This is interesting. Um, so plus five is going to be very, very difficult. Being up people like you is how I get my kicks. Oh, that's a bit of an empty threat, maybe. Hey, if you want to trade ships, that sounds good to me. The frontier creaks when it turns anyway. Uh, <laughs> You want to trade ships? Sure, let's do it. I'm not falling for that. Shoot. Your ship is loaded, and we want it. Goddamn. Um, should we go for something a bit more easier, then? Yeah. You have it wrong. Constellation is an explorer group. They aren't treasure hunters. They aren't? You sure? We did it. We did it. We've only got one more turn, though. I've only got two options. Just take a moment and count how much you've already lost. You don't want to lose more. I'm getting Shoot. that ship. Stop trying to confuse didn't me. Work. <laughs> it didn't work. I've heard enough out of you. Damn it. Oh! Barrels for days. Oh, get out of the way. There's more backup coming as well. So it must be getting to him, surely. Oh, yeah, we're doing to heal. Thank you, game. So how are you still alive? Let's try and get a little bit closer. He should come back. Oh. I'm nicking our armor after he's dead. You appear. Oh, pick up your dead body. Oh, some behind me as well. No, no right, ammo. Oh. What the? I feel like no health, but he's got shield still available. Ooh. You are dead. We should now be free to travel to Constellation's headquarters without Crimson Fleet interference. Good. We need to go as well, of course. Ah, uh, one second, one second. Oh, so we're almost out of O2 there. Whoops. Once more. That's a big jump. Whee! Ow. Still in there? <laughs> right, give me two sex. Can I get some ammo back? Ammo goes so quick in this game. There's my terrible shooting. Right oh, don't explode, don't explode. Whoa! Hello! That was epic. Dance for me. So I thought. Woo! That got a little bit juicy, didn't it? Let's go back to my ship and let's go. I am done. I am done done. Gee, that was mad. Yeah, let's be a little bit careful with my O2. So when we do run, it is an issue. Um, when we're sprinting around. What are these? Ooh. Do we still have my laser equipped? We do. Ah. Looks like I'm a little bit full when it comes to my um, inventory, which is not a massive surprise. Not a massive surprise. So that helmet definitely gave me... Let's have a quick look. 
So I switched this mining helmet. It's definitely had a factor on our ability to breathe. This was the new weapon we caught, uh, we got as well, which I am one million percent going to equip. Beautiful new shotgun. Yeah, we just I think we're just carrying too much stuff right now, and we have to have a bit of a sort out. You see, the O2 just drops because we're carrying so much stuff. It's just like. <laughs> It's taking too much air in. A double barrel shotgun. Damn! Boom, baby! I will take all of the XP. Thank you. One XP. Let's try and get inside. Where the air is fresh. That was a good little adventure. Um, Take me... I could go straight to the cockpit, but we're going to go. Yeah, we're just going to board. To reach the lodge, we must jump to the planet Jemison in the Alpha Centauri system, and then land in the city of New Atlantis. And New Atlantis. Worry, this will all become second nature before too long. A bitten, a bitten sandwich. Sure. Is there anywhere to like store some stuff at that next? Oh, what's this? What is going on here? So I guess we can craft these eventually. But not right now. So we can sleep. I was hoping there was maybe somewhere we can store some items. What's it look like at the moment? What's this? Is this a shower? I can go to the toilet? Apparently so. Ah. Just gonna sit and wait, apparently. He's got his own little ensuite. Very professional. Right, let's get out of here. We are going to Atlantis. I think that's what he said. Take off. Go to the tab menu and look at the star system. Or go to the mission, sorry. Let's have a look. Do -do 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 -do. Mission, there we go. And press R to automatically pilot a course to your next objective. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Jump, baby, jump. Obviously, fuel is going to be a factor as well. Uh, we can't just hyperspeed everywhere and be done with the whole game. Um, we do, we're going to need resources. Starship Frontier, this is Hello? United Colony Security. Maintain course and prepare to be scanned. Obviously, we've got, like, contraband on board. That could be an issue. Scan complete. No contraband Ooh, detected. There we go. You are cleared for landing at New Atlantis. Holy moly. We have landed. It's official. Oh, wow. Let me guess. Protocol Indigo again? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> and he's our new captain. My crew can take a look at your ship. And you can stop by the Trade Authority kiosk if you need to offload some cargo. Well, thank you very much. Oh, do we need repairs? Um, also, we can modify the ship as well. Let me see what ships you have for sale. I'm sure you can find something you like. So this costs... Am I am I seeing this correctly? 1,000 credits? 1. 1.7 thousand credits? I don't understand. I've got 5,000 credits. I'm like... I'm, I'm eating pretty good well right now. 2,000. Okay. You see that the, 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 the general system is definitely just like better. A lot better. That is a big boy. It looks like it's got a lot of cargo space potentially. Yeah, that's the whole crew capacity one. Crew capacity two. Yeah, we definitely want more crew capacity at some point. Two. But again, we can do some upgrades to our current ship, which is probably what I'm more leaning towards potentially. Um. Sure. How about it? Is there anything we can do in terms of like modifications? Um. Uh, ship builder. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so overwhelming right now. This is so overwhelming. So, for example. 
don't know. Where would he, where would he put the cargo? Missile launcher. It's got a missile launcher? There's so much I want to do to this. So we changed the, changed the color. If you want to. So maybe this will make this a bright red. Oh! Make it sort of maybe black, maybe? Ooh. Yeah, there's so much I want to do to this ship. It's ridiculous. Um, there's a lot to learn, though. A lot to learn. So I can just grab that. Throw it around if I want to. That's the hole. I don't think I can, what can I put in its place? Do I need to buy parts first? I'm not quite sure how that's going to work. Um, right, so G to add. Ah! So this is like an extra shield that I guess we can just put on. Um, cancel that for now. Uh, G again. There is a reactor. Ooh. That is going to give us a big old increase. Look at those. So that's, I think, I think the blue bar, sorry, the, the white bar is what we have currently. I think. Yeah, full team reactor. That needs to be upgraded soon. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> Weapons, of course. I mean, that's a missile launcher that costs 3,900. An auto cannon that costs 7,000. Wow, I'm just. A bit, yeah, I don't know. I don't want to say right now. Cargo 320. We could obviously add, what do we have currently on the cargo front? Um, so that would add 300, so four, do we have 450 at the moment? We'll see, this would add quite a bit. 210, 320. We could change the cockpit completely if you want to. The engine we can change. Fuel tank, the gears, the hub, the reactor, the shield. Wow. I. Madness. Absolutely madness. I'm a little modifier on ships. I got an achievement for that. Um, anyway, thank you very much for now. Everything looks good here. I'll be thank at my you. booth if you need me. I'm pretty sure it's not our cargo, but I think the ship has cargo on it already. So I'm intrigued to see if we can maybe. Sell that somewhere. United Colonies Research Facility will not go unanswered. We'll get you settled into your new assignments as soon as possible. For you, Bobby, that includes meeting your new foster parent. My parents aren't dead. They just oh. took a different shuttle. I'll see them when they get here. Oh, quit. Oh. Ooh. Well, um, of, yeah. of course. I'm <laughs> not sure possible. <laughs> Live awkward. These look pretty close to me. I don't know if maybe we can sell. Let's have a look. Can we sell our cargo? That would be lovely. Hello. Can I speak to you? Hello? No, nope, it's not. You have a nice day now. Okay, just going to ignore me, are you? Fair enough. I'll be seeing you later. I'm wondering if we can. Vasco, can we? Can. Oh, we can. Carrying we can gear. objects is one of my simplest and most useful protocols. Yes. That would be lovely. I'll take whatever you've got there. And let's have a quick look at our infantry. And we can hand some stuff over. Like the helmets that we don't need right now. We don't need these. I am So the mass... I, I can carry up to 135 with no issues, basically. Uh, yeah. We've, we're basically carrying too much. Space suits. I don't need these right now. Nope. I'll keep the one I've got. I'll definitely keep my ammo for now. Miscellaneous. A foam cup. <laughs> They're not particularly heavy, but even like obviously a microscope is is not light. As you would imagine. Yeah, we're now good. I believe. Is that right? I'll be good. Or did I misread that? Now we're good. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay. We should be able to freely move now, which is definitely going to be useful. Ever wonder how the Crimson Fleet seems to be everywhere? It's because they have little outposts everywhere. Little outposts everywhere. I'm really impressed by the amount of people here, by the way. Oh, there's a staggering amount of people. See, 
Has it got the same sort of character detail as maybe a main character? Like us, or... I don't know. Like, like that um, ship guy back there. But still, there's so many functioning people. I'd like to follow someone around and see what they actually do. I think it's GTA 5 where they actually have like a, a job and they do something um, in the evenings and they do something during... Yeah, it's kind of weird. This is New Atlantis Transit, or The Net. It provides free transportation throughout the city. We can take it directly to the Mast District. Okay, let's do it. The Mast District. So there's two different districts here as well that we can go to. This place is humongous. One of the, obviously, the main cities in the game. There's multiple cities like this. Obviously, you can go to, like, random planets where you can just Captain, get some resources. Constellation will be waiting for you at the lodge. Okay. Constellation, here we come. So how long can we sprint for? The water is quite aesthetically quite a long time pleasing. Now. Good. Or so Barrett has told me. New Atlantis relies on advanced hydroelectrics for most of its power. XP! I like that when you... Also, you find a new, loca new location, get some XP for it as well. Always a good feeling. It, it makes you want to explore more, which is definitely a, a benefit to a game like this. Yeah, so, like, I, I do feel a bit overwhelmed right now. Uh, I'm not going to lie, I do feel overwhelmed. A United Colonies City, but Constellation is an entirely neutral entity and always has been. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. So they sort of sit in the middle. They won't judge me for doing bad things, hopefully. <laughs> I'm sure it gets to a certain point the lodge. where maybe they the do. The front door should unlock if you hold up the watch that Barrett gave you. Oh. I have messaged the other members of Constellation. I need this watch. They will be waiting for us inside. I need this watch. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure I pre it. Scott, <laughs> Might be wrong, though. will be in the library. Just in time. If Barry were here, he'd probably tell you that you're <gasps> this bit. something bigger now. And he hopes you'll make this place your home. Thank you. Oh, please. We appear to have a visitor. You do? Welcome to Constellation. Scott. We have a lot to talk about. Would you care to tell us what happened to our friend? Why you're um, here and he isn't? Awkward. Uh, Pirate attacked. Barrett asked me to deliver the artifact. Yep, that's me being honest. Vasco, verify. All statements made have been factual. Uh, this is just typical. Barrett hands over our ship and our robot to some random employee of that discount mining outfit he uses. Walter. And if we hadn't insisted on installing those emergency protocols, I guarantee you this rock breaker here would be halfway to Neon. But that didn't happen. He's here with the artifact. Thank you, Matteo. Now, let's focus on what's in front of us, shall we? What happened when it was extracted? Did anyone see anything? Hear anything? Um, yeah, lots of bright lights, music. I think we saw like maybe a planet, some kind of solar system, cosmos. I don't quite know. Yeah, it was weird. Interesting. Similar to Barrett's description of the experience, with less embellishment. There. Are you hearing this? Do you all believe me now? Whether it happened or not wasn't in doubt. But honestly, Katya, if you expect us to believe in fairy tales... If this is the greatest mystery in the universe, why couldn't it be part of the ultimate mystery? But gentlemen, can we please focus? Noel, I think it's time we tested your theory. Right. Let's see. We know the artifacts react to each other. The pieces we already have move when they're in close contact. Now, if we add this new one to the two we already have... The artifact. If you could place it on the table here. No. I refuse! <laughs> oh, go on then. That's it. Just like Ooh. And to imagine, we thought there were only two of them at first. There's got to be more, right? Definitely got oh my more. God, that's it. They're reacting. Ooh. Look at how it's coming together. That energy that's arcing between Ooh. them, no manufactured material in the settled systems can do that. None of them. This proves that. Easy girl. <laughs> She's gonna explode. You'll have a heart attack. 
She's not the only one. If they're coming together, that means there's a set. Built by an intelligence outside the settled systems. Still 2,000 credits for our little wager, Godfrey? You're on, Walter. Well, if we had all the answers, it wouldn't be exciting, now would it? Not to take away from the moment, but what are we going to do about our new friend here? <laughs> so, are you ready to get to work? See if exploration is the life you want to lead in this little universe of ours? That lion? Ah! What's going on? This is all a little bit much. I need time to clear my head. That would probably be my response, honestly. Like, this is a little bit overwhelming, honestly. <sighs> What, what what is it all why what what is the constellation what's what is mm. we're all here because <laughs> we're know. committed to exploring space okay humanity may have settled the stars but that doesn't mean we should stop diving into the unknown beyond that you'll be expected to use your own judgment just like the rest of us all right i think i'm in honestly okay what happens next you should take some time to get settled in Okay. Introduce yourself to everyone. Some of our members aren't here, but you'll meet them soon. Come find me when you're ready. You and I are going to be doing some traveling together. Get your feet wet. And here, I think you've earned something for bringing the artifacts Ooh. to us. In addition give me, give to credits, why don't we set you up with a backpack with some boost capability? Hmm? Oh, finally. You out in the field anyway. Just mind your head. Yeah, can you imagine? Oh! And we have leveled up again. Let's go! So we've gone for medicine so far. Obviously, hopefully that'll be upgraded over time. Or we have just unlocked the boost pack, and we could utilize that a little bit. Yeah, let's go for that. That sounds like a good idea. Well done, Scott. <laughs> Pat myself on the back. Um, if you guys haven't liked the video, by the way, so far, please, please do. Um... Please, please. <laughs> Ever since I got here, this has felt like home. Aww. These people are family. I hope it feels Take that note. way for you too. Everyone here is worth what? learning from. Ooh. Yes, even the kid. All right, Walter. Can you chat to me, Walter? Well, I suppose Swab calling you a gentleman. rock breaker may have been a bit out of line. Could be. I've been called worse. Still doesn't excuse it. My frustrations lie more with Barrett. Not the first time his shenanigans have jeopardized one of our ventures. Not fair of me to take it out on you, especially since it would seem he made the right call this time. He did. So, let's start over, shall we? Walter Stroud, CEO of Stroud Eklund, member of Constellation, and oft times grumpy old man. Welcome aboard. At least you got a good set of hair. I'm jealous. Just watch the grumpiness in the future. Oh, that sounds like a threat. I hope the drinks are at least free. Yes, well, a stock <laughs> bar is a treat I think Constellation can afford. For now. But if you clean us out, you're on your own. By the way, in addition to a place to stay, the Lodge has a wealth of modification and research equipment. Spacesuit customization, Pharmaceutical manufacturing, testing alien substances, the whole thing. Well, wow. you can even fashion industrial pieces for large scale projects, if you don't mind extracting a few raw resources from a nearby planet, that is. I'm a fan of self reliance, so I encourage you to make use of the tools we have to build what you need. Oh, well, thank you very much. Craft or modify an item that is now set up, set up as a mission. Create to complete a research project. Ooh. This isn't where I expected to find a CEO of a big, big company. Yeah, surprising. Funny thing about companies, you build one sturdy enough, it doesn't need you there all the time to prop it up. Stroud Eklund functions quite well on a day-to-day -day basis, leaving me time to devote to more esoteric pursuits. For years... I was captivated by the writings of Constellation's founder, Sebastian Banks. I finally decided to do something more than admire from a distance, and so now I call the Lodge home, 
as much as anywhere else. Hey, okay, I think we're good to go, right? Actually, let's, uh, let's ask about the vision. Do you think this vision means anything? Up until very recently, I'd likely have dismissed it as, I don't know, hallucinations. But now, I'm not sure what to think. I don't suppose you have a history of this sort of thing, do you? I do not. This is the first time for everything. Uh, I've never seen anything like that in my life. No. Yes, I imagined as much. Barrett expressed something similar in his own unique way. I'm no scientist. I leave that to the likes of Barrett and young Noel there. But I think we can all agree there's something unusual going on here. Frankly, this is the most exciting thing that's happened in years. Sure is. Bye. Right, should we look at maybe doing some like some of the basic crafting and research and stuff like that? I think that might be quite a good idea. So does that come under activities? Can we start a research project? Is that possible? Is that viable? I hope you are satisfied uh, with the quarters available to you. Be able to do a research project in our ship. Ooh. Open sesames. Where are we going now? Oh, back. Oh, outside. This like a little rooftop. Gee. We're living good right now, aren't we? It's clear to see funding um, won't be an issue. I wonder if we can ever do anything wrong that would shut us out. Like, sort of change the key scenario. You get what I mean? Ooh. Oh. Look at these rooms. What room's mine? Very pleasant bathroom. Okay. Another bedroom? Damn, this place is insane. So many rooms. <laughs> Sounds working out. Fair play. Oh, well, this is where we can do some research. Ah. So we could make a bandage. There we go. Make multiple bandages, apparently. So that's fire button sealant. Lovely. Can we do multiple? Is that possible? Oh, there we go. Seven. Done. Does that count as crafting? <laughs> I think it did. Uh, how do we start a research project? See your parents. What? At the Pioneer Tower. What? I would love to do that. Uh, talk to Noel about quarters. Oh, yeah, let's do that. Sounds like a good idea. Give me two seconds, guys. Can I just jump down here? Whee! I hope Barrett makes it back to us. I know he gets into trouble all I'm the sure time. And everyone just sort of accepts he'll be fine, but still. That was intense, wasn't it? The artifacts, I mean. Sorry, this must all be a little overwhelming for you right now. It's quite a lot to take in here. I guess a lot overwhelming, now that I think about it. I'm Noelle. It's really nice to meet you. And thank you for bringing the artifact to us. Noelle. I do apologize. My name... I, I'm really bad with names. Um, I was wondering about my my quarters. Um, so I was thinking about a place for me to stay. Planning on sticking around then? Good. I would love to. I think we can find a spot for you. And along the way, I can give you the very abbreviated yes. tour. Do it. Right. Thank you very much. So you've seen the library. Obviously. I have. Walter is quite proud of the collection. But Mateo has made more than a few contributions. Gardens are out the doors there. If you need a moment of quiet contemplation. Emphasis on the quiet part. At least usually. Let's head upstairs. Or a greenhouse, I Sebastian guess. Sebastian Banks, Constellations founder, had this place built decades ago. It was a big to-do at the time, but most people in the city have forgotten we're here. I am at your service, Captain. This place is pretty incredible. One sec, is that... Is that... 
like a NASA? What? Ooh. I don't know what that is. It's not Neil Armstrong. <laughs> is that his name? I don't even know if it's his name or not. My space knowledge apparently is terrible. What is this? This is where we eat? So this is the bar. Usually no tender, so help yourself. Within reason, of course. Now let's see about that room. You're in luck. We were almost at max occupancy already, but there's still one room up for grabs. It's Cooking nice station? The place so one, one, one second. One second. An alien sandwich. How many alien sandwiches can we make? One. Yay! Just made an alien sandwich. Eat that. Beautiful. Sorry. Got really distracted. Right, so we do have a room, apparently. Okay, this will be you. Common room on one side, so that'll be quiet. And Mateo on the other side, so maybe a little less quiet. This is my room? I'm sure Sarah has something planned for each of us, so I'd better get back to it. Don't want to keep her waiting too long. Enjoy. Wow. Well, thank you very much. So this is, this is my little quarters, apparently. So I can keep my watch, I guess. I can sit, I can sleep. A little shot. Oh, storage. That would be very useful. Thank you for that. So got my little my, my little storage. Got a pen I'm gonna leave there. Have a little sleep. Ah. Ah, oh, I feel well rested. I'm ready to take on the day. But in terms of activities, anything else we can do? I really can't see my parents. Is that really, is that really weird? Is that outside? I would imagine. Then we may come back to Sarah. I am at your service, Captain. Give me two seconds. <laughs> this is like my actual parents as well. I need to go and see my parents. Uh, is that? Where is that? Are we in the right area, or do we need to travel somewhere else? For a little bit too long now. Lovely hat, dear. Why do you even stare at me for? Do I look okay? Do I have some food on my face or something? I get like proper like dirty looks. Oh, the shopping district. CJ's open 49 hours. Is that how many? Oh, what was that? Is that how many hours are in a day here? Oh. Kind of cool. I don't know if there's fast travel in the game yet or not. You see that scientist sure. out in front of Mast, staring at trees, sounds upset. Whatever it is, it can't be that bad, right? I guess I'll have a look. Talk to the scientist by the tree. Is that that guy? You okay? Is it because you're stuck no in a chair born good or evil you okay? every day <laughs> cuz i'm stuck used to be a lot harder on my body now it's mostly time you seem very morbid oh it just so happens i need a letter delivered to my pen pal in sidonia pay is in advance 1000 credits okay sure bless you child i believe you'll find hattie at the community center in sidonia just hand her the letter. She'll know who it's from. Well, if I go to Sidonia, I 100% will deliver the letter for you. But now, I'm going to see my parents. That's right. See your parents in the tower. Okay. Sure. Am I stuck here? Could move there for a second. Is this where they live? My family apartment. I'm going to see my parents. What is going on? Hello? Mummy? Mama? Papa? Oh, he's got no hair. That's not a good sign, is it? Daddy! What? Well, I'll be... Is he a chef? Honey, we got ourselves a visitor. I'll get the coffee brewing. 
Oh, my God! Oh, you about gave me a heart attack. Not that we're not thrilled to see you, son, but I, I thought you were under contract with Argos Extractors. Is everything all right? Better than all right. I'm working for the Constellation now. I'm doing very good. I'll be. I'll be. Constellation? Is this one of those candid camera vids? A joke? My child is a member of Constellation. I just knew you were special. Didn't I always say that? That you were meant for great things? Great things. Every mom says their kid is special. But I guess you were right. <laughs> Um, you're making me blush, Mom. Hey, if I don't Stop get here. to sing your praises as much as I like, no one can. Oh, but you didn't give me any notice. If I'd known, I'd have your favorite meal in the oven. And your room is just a mess. Uh, although that's how you left it. Easy, honey. Let the boy catch his breath. Why don't you settle in? You know you're always welcome. Well, thank you. Of all the places we've lived, this is my favorite. So I can just go and visit the family, I guess, whenever I want. Where ask them the questions. Maybe ask for some money. Y you Maybe. don't know where that is? I knew where it was. Top shelf of the pantry. But it's not there anymore. No, I moved them Ooh, to the bottom high school shelf backpack. ages ago. Sure. How do you expect me to know where anything is if you keep moving them all the time? You should pay attention. Sounds like a very typical argument with your mum. And Dad? I still can't get over you being here. And it's not even Mother's Day. So, I gotta ask. Is there anyone oh, special? Oh, we can come back and maybe talk with about... you being in Constellation romances. now? I imagine you are quite the cat. Oh, really? I didn't know that. I think I'm... Have we, we, we haven't found anyone, right? Nothing to report yet. Just so you know, your dad cannot wait to you be a grandpa. can't have kids in this game, surely. So don't keep him or me waiting too long. I, I know, I know. I won't get into more right now. I know you didn't live in this apartment long, but I want you to consider this your home away from home. Your bed is always yours, no questions asked. I mean, well, I will ask questions, but you can stay here no matter the answer. Of course, her mom's gonna ask questions. I really appreciate it. Thank you, mom. Don't bother at all. Stay as long as you like. Anything you wanna talk about, dear? Any gossip? Ever consider moving somewhere cheaper, maybe? It is pretty expensive here. Any gossip? Well, one of your old classmates made junior VP at Galbank. Her father was bragging for hours. Can't wait to tell him about Constellation. Oh, don't, don't be like that, Mum. Jesus. Uh, what are you doing these days, Mum? Now that we're both retired, you mean? I, I keep trying to push your father to do things. Dance lessons, vacation, take some courses. I'm really interested in early colonial art, but he's just happy as a clam reading in his chair for hours. Wants to know the history of every little thing. It's nice to have time to do both, though. All right. Did we select Talking the trait in the end to have parents? I, can't, I, I think we did in the end, didn't we? Serious. I feel like so much has happened since we created our character. Right, are we good to... Go. I'm all trapped in here forever. Yeah, send me down. Get me out of here. Let's go and see Sarah. I will transport there in a jiffy. Boom! Well, I think we're good to. One sec, is there more people here now? now this I might just imagine you this. With the quarters available what? To you. what are they doing here? It was all right to let your parents in here, but maybe what? they should stay for long. I didn't. I'm planning a grocery of run later. And videos to occupy I guess me. You're welcome. So anytime. don't worry about me. And I mean any time. I'm so confused. What just happened here? I hope you don't mind, but I figured the lodge was just a nat stop away. Unbelievable. I just had to see it. This is embarrassing. This is everything I imagine. Do you know I dreamt of joining Constellation when I was a girl? This is embarrassing. Imagine this happened to you. Just wanted to make sure. Uh, I really can't imagine kid. you as a kid. There are days that are tough, sure. <laughs> you have hidden depths, Mum. I wouldn't even. I'm not sure that's what I'll be saying right now. I don't know if I go that far. But my parents turned up. Talk before he bursts. 
I was playing poker with the Dean of Engineering, and he had this collectible revolver framed. And when he heard you were in Constellation... Oh. Well, we worked together to get the piece clean and restored. She fires beautifully now. We, uh, uh took turns sighting it at the range. I swear, your father was acting like a school kid. <clears throat> As I was saying, may I present to you Sir Malcolm Livingston's personal sidearm. All the special modifications just as he left him. Thanks, he was that's... chair of Consolation about uh, 50 years ago. Anyway, it's yours. I mean, that is pretty cool. But could you not have given me this earlier? Next person I shoot. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, that's a terrible joke. <laughs> you are joking, right? Well, of course you are. Yeah, definitely well, joking. We'll let you get back to it. Uh, but um, <laughs> Miss Noel said we could look around a little first. Oh wow. Yep. Yeah, okay, Dad. This is Ms. super Noel, embarrassing. Would it be all right if I brought cookies next time? Actually, Mister Cookies, what type? <laughs> I make Ooh. a mean snickerdoodle. Right. So let's have a quick look at this weapon. Is it a decent weapon? Like, uh, I guess I'll take the embarrassment if that's if it's a free weapon. And it is pretty good. It is pretty, pretty, is pretty good. That's a pretty nice looking pistol, I won't lie. Right, so let's definitely equip it as well. That will replace my previous old pistol. That looks like a proper, like, old school pistol, doesn't it? It's a bit ancient, some would say. Right, Sarah, are we good to uh, do are the you next ready mission? ready to get to work? I am. Or was there something else? I think I'm ready. Yeah, let's do it. We're going to be doing some old-fashioned detective Ooh. work. The artifacts are relatively inert once they're out of bedrock. That means people can pass them around, not even knowing what they are. I've been letting my contacts know to be on the lookout for strange metal objects. Get back a lot of noise, usually. But a tip from the UC Vanguard sounds promising. All right, let's go. Have to admit, I'm excited for my very first mission. Who are these, uh, these vanguards? A volunteer force that helps defend the edges of United Colonies space. They're always looking for recruits. Lots of retired veterans and dangerous professionals mixed in with part-timers who barely have a laser cannon welded to a hull. My contact is in the recruiting office, so he hears a lot about what the volunteers are up to. Okay, I think we're good to know, right? Let's do it. Felt the same way when Bus I started, mission. too. There's an... Electricity in the air when you know you're about to uncover something. But it's not just that. I want to take this opportunity to see how you handle yourself and for you to learn more about us. I'm going to be sticking with you for this. We'll be traveling together until we either find an artifact or this lead runs dry. Got it. Okay, let's go and get the next artifact. We'll need to head to Mast. Check in with the Vanguard recruiting office where my contact works. And listen, whatever you were before or whatever you do once you're out there, I don't care. So long as you don't bring UC security to our doorstep. Every member of Constellation is their own conscience. Understood? Yeah, that sounds fair. Okay. So if we have like a bit of a dark past or we get up to no good outside of our work with the Constellation, we're good. Understood? All right. Good. Let's take a little stroll through New Atlantis, shall we? Sounds like a plan. Just want to come out and say it. Hope it is romance with Sarah. I hope, that, I hope that's available. One second, that's a sandwich. Yum! Right, Sarah, come with us now then? Come on, Sarah, are you coming? I, I think she is. Captain. She is coming with us. Yay! A new companion. Hopefully she can shoot. Yeah, sort of like that we're not going to be judged for what we do outside. We can sort of freely act like an arse, basically. Which I'm all for. Is she coming? We got... We got a backpack then, I don't think you do. Nice jacket, though. Hopefully, eventually, I get one. I'm not quite sure where I'm going at the moment. Ah. Got those stairs. I do feel, I do feel a bit guided for like PlayStation owners, 
that aren't going to get the chance to play a game like this. It's like the, it is like the first Bethesda game, isn't it, that's not coming out on PlayStation. To the best of your abilities, Ooh. and to uphold the values of the Vanguard, honor, loyalty, self-reliance in all your actions as members of the United Colonies Navy. I, I do. do. Impressive. Then I'm proud. I mean, I mean, you can play this game on like a on a Samsung TV as well, can't you, with Game Pass and stuff, so... Yeah, I mean... Mm. Ah, the Sarah, Vanguard lead, of course. Good to see you. Who's your friend? Uh, Scott. Another space explorer. Yes. Hey, you ever think of joining up with the Vanguard? No. <laughs> help the United Colonies, earn some credits, even get your UC citizenship? Uh, we can sign up straight away? Is it that easy? Ooh. I'd rather chart the stars than fight wars. I don't know what to do, actually. Maybe later. We have some business to discuss first. All right, all right. We can come back later. Can't blame me for trying, right? I mean, I still haven't given up on getting Sarah to re-enlist. It's a game we play. He asks. I say no. Here's what I got for you two. Vanguard volunteer by the name of Moera. Helps patrol the old neighborhood. Sol, Mars, Neptune, you know. The Sol system? Which Admiral did he upset to get that posting? He's Martian, born and raised. Not like I can get anyone else to care. Word is he's got some fancy metal ornament he's been showing off to the old grounders. Matches that description Sarah gave me. Okay, this could be a good lead. We'll talk to him. I'm sure we can make him a good offer for it. A scientific discovery being used as an ornament. Yeah, that sounds like humans. Soul system is a lot of planets, but a vet like Moera will be checking in at Sidonia on the regular. You mean hitting the bars, don't you, John? Hey, nothing wrong with a little refresh between patrols. I'm not here to judge. What you do in your spare time is, is up to you. A bar in a spaceport? Sounds like a home. <laughs> it's definitely a lifestyle, burning helium out there, seeing where the stars take you. I'm serious about that recruitment offer, by the way. You just come talk to me when you're ready. You see is a good friend to have. Need to get on the uh, on the old train again. Which I believe he's down here. Whee! We have these jetpacks for a reason, you know. I don't know how to use them yet. Hoping you're gonna teach me. We are going back to space. Hopefully we don't get attacked. Fingers crossed. Quite unlikely, Pam, me and Sarah, but we'll make it work. Am I allowed to get weapons out here? I can. Ooh. Nope, don't do it, Scott. <laughs> Just want to see what happens. Oh, I've always liked that statue. It's beautiful, isn't it? Hmm. I wonder what the artist was trying to represent. Honestly, Sarah, I've got no idea. Wish that bartender at the viewport would stop. Security scanners, chemical sniffers. Hmm. United Colonies sure isn't taking any chances. Talk to the bartender at viewpoint. Another activity just popped up. I like how they're not too sort of intrusive. They're just if you want to do this random activity, this little side quest, this errand, you can. Here's the main quest. Enjoy. Uh, straight to the cockpit. Guessing Sarah's gonna be on board now. And let's take off. Let's go, go, go. Close. That is quite the ship. I can't wait though to upgrade it. I don't feel like I want to just buy a new ship. I don't want to just keep adding like modules to it. I think that'd be quite cool today. Alrighty then. Let's get to it. Alright, can we set a course please? Yep. Set a course. Jump. I hope we've got enough fuel, right? Power up the grav drives. Alright, so we just take down all the power. Ah, uh, so we actually have to actually physically turn them down, okay. Here we go. We're jumping. That was cool. Grav jump! Go! And of course we want to change the, the where we, the power comes out. Ooh. Maintain current course while we scan for contraband. Got it, thank you. 
Energy. Level 4, baby. Right, so. so I want to go. Set course. And we can now land. No contraband was found. Which is good. <laughs> Ooh, this is a different vibe. Ship. I lived on Mars for an entire year, and I'm convinced yep, I'm used to the dusty air. I'm guessing my helmet is on automatically, otherwise I would be dead. I would be no more. I'd be non existent. Ooh. Let's go down here. Yeah, this place is. A lot of. Obviously, Elon Musk, for example, sees Mars as a future home. A hub like this. It's kind of weird seeing it like this already. It's obviously going to be quite cold, but if you have a, a spacesuit on, you'll be fine. Suppose that would explain the problem. Building Sidonia completely underground was a clever way of keeping the city shielded from the harsh Martian landscape. Yeah, Mars has a, like a lot of sandstorms and generally the weather's not great. If you watch the, is it the Martian film, that demonstrates it quite well. <laughs> it's a pretty good film. That's um, the Matt Damon movie, yeah. And we the have arrived. What do you mean? There's no work. Yeah, do you have any idea how far we've traveled? How much money? Are we going the right way? Look at this place. Damn. I can't imagine being cramped down here, choking on the fumes and the dust. No trees, no grass. <sighs> it's depressing. I don't think these people really have a choice. Is this the right way? This is not feel like the right way. Somehow, I've got lost. <laughs> Almost wish there was maybe like a little mini map in the corner. Stay maybe there is one. I've just not found it yet. So I've got like a rough idea of where to go. Speak to Trevor. Ah. Can't believe we're still pulling up huge mineral deposits after all this time. How goes? Yes. Hello, Jack. Been serving drinks here for over forty years. Few places can offer that kind of stability. I like a drink, sir. What's your poison? I would like um a lager. A pack of what is that? A juice carton? Don't insult me. Um let's go for a bottle. A dark lager. I would like just one would be lovely. Thank you very much. Oh boy, what's that? Are we good? Are we good? Right, so I'm looking for a vanguard called the Mauler. Can you he help? Been around. Went off on patrol. Hasn't been back in since. We're starting to think it might be time to pour one out to the blackest sea. Oh boy. Whoa. Are we good? What is going on down here? We could track him down. If you know his patrol routes. Ah, oh, believe me, I've heard it. After about round three or four was all he would talk about. And he's got a voice that carries. Look, nothing more I'd love than to help out a fellow Martian. Especially one that's missing. But... <clears throat> he has a tab, and you don't know if he's coming back. It's a lot of credits, okay? I let it slide for a long time because he's a regular, but... If I'm out all that money, I got problems. What do you say? <sighs> okay. Skip to the part where you admit you're lying. <laughs> uh, let's try a bit of persuasion. We do have that persuasion perk available. Your companion can speak on your behalf. Okay. Um, let's just try to persuade him myself. Life on Sidonia ain't hard enough. You're gonna guilt trip me. Yep. I promise, this is between us. Okay. Uh, what matters to you more? The money or Mora's life? 
Yep, that's fair. Yeah. I'll get your point. You get my point. So we need two more points, and we're good. We're golden. What's the harm if you help me? I'd like to help you. I really would. Come on. All right. I'll yes. We did it. Just trying to earn a living. Our first here. one. Last time he was here, Moera kept yelling about the lady of love. Just singing songs. All that kind of thing. Venus? That's only one planet. Hardly an entire patrol route. I got what I got, okay? Oh, fine. We'll make do. Sarah does not sound particularly happy with that, but what can we do? We're now going to Venus. <laughs> um, wait here a moment. I think it's time we went our separate ways. Oh, that's a bit personal. Can I ask you some personal questions? Oh, not at all. Uh, do you have any religious beliefs? My parents considered themselves to be enlightened, ah, okay. but their lives were so busy they rarely pursued their beliefs. By the time I was old enough to start questioning these things, the idea of following any organized religion was almost an afterthought. It's not that I don't want to believe in anything. It's that my scientific mind is often at odds with my spiritual center. Having been out there, in the starfield, seeing all those magnificent wonders with my own eyes, I need answers, not religious theory. I'm sorry if that disappoints you, but don't worry. While we're on this journey together, I fully intend to respect your religious beliefs. Fair enough. Do you consider your areas... What do you consider your areas of expertise? You mean, apart from being the chair of Constellation for the past five years? Apart from that, of well, course, yep. let's see. I pride myself with my aptitude for astrodynamics. Calculating optimal trajectories for grab jumping. That's been quite useful in the past. And as far as planetary exploration, my area of expertise is botany. So, don't worry. I won't let you eat anything that might put you in the hospital. <laughs> is there anything you would like to do for fun besides exploring? Ooh. Exploration is my entire life. I consider it both a career and recreation. That being said, I will make a confession, but you have to promise to keep Ooh. it between us. Before I graduated from school, I was oh. in a band. And no, I don't mean the school band. I mean a rock band. That's we very cool. We called ourselves Ironic Comet. <laughs> <laughs> wow. A ridiculous name, I know. But uh, we were just a bunch of teenagers getting together and having fun. And before you ask, no, I wasn't the lead singer. I actually played the drums. Oh, wow. Okay. The cool. band never really went anywhere, of course, but those were good times, and I remember them fondly. Maybe we could bond over music. If I can find, like, maybe some drums and a guitar, you know, me and Sarah could, yep, yeah, could bond oh, in some okay, way. Then. Maybe? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Uh, right. I think we've asked all the personal questions. So Let's go, Sarah. Hey, Let's go to Venus. Oh, we aren't messing about, are we? Let's go, go, go. It was like we was here so quickly. Do I mean we're going already? Open sesame. Let me back outside. Back to my ship. What if we're about to be attacked? I hope not. Oh. Yeah, so far. Tiny bit of a slow start, but yeah, I'm really enjoying the game so far. It's sort of what I expected, but more as well, if that makes sense. That, that makes sense, but I'm, I'm just really enjoying it. I'm enjoying myself. There's a lot to take in at first as well, a lot to learn. A lot to learn. When you're ready to launch. Hello, Sarah. Oh, yeah, can we do a research here, can't we? That's one of the um, little activities we need to do. What do we want to go for? Definitely weaponry. Yes. Oh, this is actually quite interesting. Okay. Uh, can we do a barrel mod? Is that possible? Can we lock that in? 
How can we cut that in? Yep, confirm. Nickel. And a little sealant as well. Oh, I've only got one. Ah. Oh, you kidding me? Yeah, that's all I've got left. Fantastic. Fantastic. What about this helmet? Can we do that? Confirm. I can actually tag it as well. I've got nothing in there. Great. So maybe we can, potentially, we can try and buy some sealant, potentially. Maybe. Alright, let's go. It's not a very far journey, but let's go to Venus. Mars to Venus. Isn't Venus just like a very hostile, not a very pleasant planet to be on, right? I believe so. As far as I know. I don't think that will ever get boring to see my, my ship, hopefully my modded ship later on, just flying off. I want to do like loads of like cosmetic stuff as well, like have like a, a theme and yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be mad. Right, let's go to Venus. Set a course please. To the Venus. Look at this ship! It's so good. That saving is, is so quick as well. Right. Hello, what do we have here? See that cluster of ships? Varun Zealot. You ever run into one? <laughs> Completely devoted to a deity they call the Great Serpent. The devourer of the unbelievers. I'll let you guess what happens if they spot us. Oh boy. I doubt they know where our vanguard is. That is true. Um, do you see her ship anywhere? No, no other ship readings Damn. in the area. And I doubt they'd be so calm if a vanguard had flown by recently. Shoot. I doubt they know where our vanguard is. No, but I think I see something else that might. Okay. There's a UC satellite beacon hovering distressingly close to those Varun ships. If we can get close enough to it, we could download its logs and figure out where our vanguard was heading to next. Okay. Sounds good. So we need to get to that, to that beacon without being attacked. Is that even possible? Exactly. Minimal ship power. Go slow. We grab the data on that satellite and jump away. Alright. Sounds good, I guess. Use minimum power to avoid detection. Examine the satellites. Okay. So let's see if we can... Oh, there we go. Calm it down a little bit. Let's try and bring down the engine power and the shield. And see if we can get... Let's bring up, let's bring up a little bit of engine power. Or is it just one move? <laughs> do, do, do. Do, do, do. Can I add it? The shields are offline as well. Oh, great serpent. Bless this oh. communion that we may walk in Janan Verun's footsteps. Please don't detect me. That he jumped from the soul system out into the beyond and touched your magnificence. Touch what? That he learned the truth of the shrouding, the coming eternal embrace. That you will reward the promised and cast the accursed into shadow. I don't want to boost. And I don't want to add too much power. I'm not quite sure how much power we can add without being detected. Um, yeah, I'm just... It feels like we're getting closer, but it is a little bit slow. We're only going 24 speed. Let me go quicker! Please. Ship to the left. I believe that is the satellite we want to get to. I wish we could move a little bit quicker. Should we add a bit more power? I hope that wasn't too much. Pretty much doubled our speed. I didn't realise um, earlier on, I do apologise, that you have to actually go in and alter each part of the ship. So the shield, the grav. Um, I believe that is laser and ballistics and missiles. I don't think I've even used missiles yet. No, I definitely haven't. So I have to look into maybe trying to use those at some point. 
Lock on target. So should we have a quick check before we continue? Um, controls. How do we use on the binding, won't it? Uh, uh, uh. How do we use missiles? Is it G? Maybe G? Yes, G. All right. Or mouse four, whatever that is. I'll try to use barely any power. I'm also, by the way, in case you guys have forgot, please enter the giveaway. Uh, this is a real giveaway, a worldwide giveaway for pretty, pretty expensive console. Um, I believe it's actually sold out in some, in some, uh, some countries. Oh, we're getting very close here. Come on, lock it in, lock it in, lock it in. Right. Press E. Oh, there we go. Ooh. To all you see affiliated ships, I'm heading to the Nova Galactic Star Yard orbiting Rook's Moon. Yeah, yeah, the middle I here? know the whole place is decommissioned, and I need parts for emergency repairs. Hopefully it hasn't been picked clean yet. Oh, that's not good. Earth and everything around it was abandoned a long time ago, and the old Star Yards are crawling with spacers and other scavengers. So I believe we need to go to a galactic station, and it seems to be near this planet. Oh, there it is. Nova Galactic Star Yard, still orbiting Earth's moon. This is where the first interstellar ships were made. People still use their modules, even though their Star Yard hasn't been running in forever. I need to know about... I need to know what happened to Earth. I just need to know. Oh, it's all ancient history now, but the Earth lost its atmosphere. It started sputtering out into space. Humanity had about 50 years to evacuate the planet. That's kind of how the United Colonies government started. Managing the exodus. Earth is more or less a dust ball now. You can occasionally find a few remnants of the world we left behind on the surface, but not much. So, forget about finding the artifact. I want to go on the moon! That is a great idea. Keep your weapons ready. Uh, Never know who else might be scavenging there. So that's there. the moon in the background, of course. Um, I'm guessing that uh, we, we can potentially go to Earth still. It's just not going to be as friendly as you might expect. Most star stations and ships can be docked with, allowing you to board them. You will need to select the ship in your HUD, okay, and then fly close enough so you get the dock prompt to appear. I just tried this, by the way, and it didn't work, so I'm hoping it's going to work now. I'm pretty sure I was close enough. I was close enough that I was banging into it, and it still the prompt wasn't coming up, so uh, fingers crossed it's going to work now. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Going pretty quick. So yeah, it does go about 100 and... Was it 49? Is the max speed. It's like slowing down. Don't really want to plow into it. See, so yeah, I, I got pretty, pretty close, but... I just didn't... The prompt didn't seem to come up. I'm guessing this is where we dock. Let me dock. Is there a prompt anywhere? Ooh. Uh. Almost heal it. Oh, one sec. There we go. Doc. Yay! It finally popped up. I don't know what I did there, but it eventually worked. Let's dog, baby! Very professional docking, okay? Do not judge me. Alright, uh, get up. Bald? I guess we want a bald for <laughs> I don't know. It might not be Jemison, oh. but this ship is starting to feel like home. Uh, well, this Two is bad. Steps in and we're already looking at a corpse. Yeah. Okay, it's not Vanguard Moara. Looks like Spacer. spacers were scavenging spacers. around here, and someone else came in and said hello. Oh, this won't be your last encounter with a spacer crew. They pillage abandoned facilities and shoot anyone who gets in their way. 
Oh, Sarah, this is not good. This really isn't good, is it? This is bad. What is that? Oh, might be useful. Uh, we are looking for... Oh, little cap. Don't mind if I do. Um, see look we really want. That would be definitely a good find if we can find that. Some tissues. A desk assistant. I think we're okay on that front. Thank you anyway. Desktop organizer. <laughs> oh, this is such a, like, a professor game. I love it. Oh, I love it. Sure, I'll take the globe. What happened to you, sir? You wear a mascara or have you been dead for a while? I could maybe try and unlock it. No? No. I need advanced or lock picking. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. I saw something moving in that box. Was that moving there? What? A sweater? Oh. It is kicking off. I mean, Jesus. Can you... Can I transfer you some stuff, we please? We still need to find any sign Let's of... Let's trade some gear, I'll please. I'll only carry the good stuff. <laughs> good. Just kidding. A coalition pack? That looks pretty... Have I even equipped that yet? What am I doing? That is... Incredibly stupid. Fire boosters with the left shift button. Okay. Is that not the sprint button? Whoa. Okay, maybe have to jump and then press it. Definitely worked there, though. Right, we're going to use my new pistol. Let's see if it's good or not. Yeah, there's a lot of red dots on my map. The enemy is close. And there's definitely a fire happening. Whoa! That wasn't very friendly, was it? Level five. Headshot. That was an ecliptic mercenary. It was. What are they doing here? Scanning. Let's do this. Come on, Sarah. We, you know what to do. Little laser pistol. Might as well take. You don't look in good shape. Might as well. He doesn't need it, does he? Well, he's fine. They're fine in space. Okay. Definitely less red dots on the map. Looks like the last I, le I really like that, actually. I really like that. such a cool addition. You don't really see that often. When, obviously, they're heavily wounded. Oh, so, level 8. Let's be careful here. Go on, Sarah. You know what to do. Damn, this pistol's good. I'm going to thank my family for this beautiful pistol. Yeah, obviously, we, I think we have the skill based on a pistol. So obviously the more kills we get pistols, the better. Let me grab this weapon. Not minor four, what was that? Some kind of legendary weapon. Ooh! Our first legendary. There might be someone over here. Yep. Oh shoot. Get down. Okay, out of ammo. Bring it on, Sarah. I'm very posh. You're going down. Go ahead. Double hit. Shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. Oh, <laughs> heal, heal, heal. I can't see. Straight to the throat. Ah! Jesus. I he was in here. What are you doing? Let's pick up some chicken. Real good. Quick little heal up again. I thought the medicine was also a good one because obviously we heal all of the time. So being able to obviously boost that would be pretty easy. So we can upgrade that skill. That's Sarah. Is Sarah saying that? I love the shooting. I love it. Now 
might be all the targets dead for now. Ooh. That got a little bit spicy, didn't it? What's this? So, explosive modified... So, it's a similar ruffle to what we've got. So, what does it do? Explosive. Randomly switches to explosive rounds. What? That sounds like a weapon I should have equipped. So, I've switched it now. Um, so, that should now be equipped. Uh, we haven't used the shotgun yet. I'd like to use that. This is our first laser weapon. Uh, done. Sweet. Ooh, I like the sight. Very tasty. Anyone in here? No? All good. Yeah, I would imagine the combat is not done just yet. We are not done here. Oh, I'm full up again. Jeez. That's going to be a constant issue, isn't it? <laughs> I don't think I quite realised just how many weapons I've got. Like, a lot of these I just do not need. I just got rid of so many weapons. Yeah, we need to sell my goods very, very soon. So long. Very soon indeed. As soon as possible. Uh, did I... I did have... I want to use a shotgun. I want to see it in action. By far our most powerful weapon. What sort of reminders here? Record source, record type, record salt. I'm not quite sure where we're going now. Oh, damn. Looks pretty good in there as well. Yeah, we took out quite a few targets there. That was a pretty big fight and we just turned up. We could have maybe sat back. And let them just sort of go at it, but... Oh. Do I want a tablet? Is it an iPad Pro? Is it... What is it? Oh. Not done yet. Uh, that didn't do much, did it? I might hit the railing, though. Oh, okay. Do I get a nice, decent hit on him? Does a fair amount of damage. Woo! She ripped for his shit. Jeez! Go, go, go. Love those backpacks. So satisfied. Anyone upstairs? Yep. I don't think credits are junk, personally, but what do I know? I feel like everything's pretty much worth something in this game. Apart from, like, phone cups and a sandwich. But we are still early birds, I guess you could say. Yeah, if I can grab some ammo. Of course I'm going to do it. Make it. Definitely something bigger happening here. Let's go up. Is that the workroom? Oh boy. Defensive positions! They a hundred percent know we're coming. There's a lot of red dots on this map. What are we walking into here? Wish me luck, guys. Wish me luck. Wish me luck. Is that someone there? Level 12? What the? He's a medic as well. So they came out nice and quickly then. <laughs> that was beautiful. What a shot. Saw the, the very fringes of a backpack. And boy, did I punish it. No medic for you. Oh. 
Oh, hello. She went in there. No, I died! I died. For the first time, I died. Something exploded there. Right, so we're back, but we did find a note. So I had to go through that last section all over again. But I did find this. Loyal to your crew. I get it, but screw that. Beg, borrow, steal. Kill to get to um, whoever that is. There is a secret outpost we're trying to crack. Once in a lifetime opportunity, you will regret it for the rest of your life if you don't get your ass over here. So that was the secret message I believe we found. Um, so yeah, we're going to take that on right now. Make sure we are fully raring to go. Still getting used to using the, the boost pack. Should we try and use it here, actually, before we go into combat? So jump, I believe, and then press... Hmm. I, don't, I can't get... I can't seem to get it to work now. I was getting it to work before, but now it's not... Oh! So what, what did I do there? Oh! Okay, so it's just like a double jump. Okay. So it's a double space bar. Okay, it's a pretty pretty basic one at the moment. Maybe that's just all it can do. Yeah, okay. So it acts as like a double jump. Noted. Right, hopefully we don't die this time. Oh, there's the boost, yeah. Ah. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, I see it, I see it. It does actually count as boosted in combat. <laughs> really? Yep, it does. Might as well try and upgrade it. Laser. So he was dead. Apparently not. Ugh. I've got some guts. I'm dying again. I refuse. I refuse. Where the hell is Sarah? Sarah, you gonna help me today? Not. Oh, another one fancy the to the fight. Boost. <laughs> that is such a cheap way of trying to get the upgrade on that skill. Level 12. What's that level 12? I'm level 4, aren't I? I get the level 5s, but... Not sure this weapon is um that impressive. Uh, not gonna last much longer. I'm saying that. It does get through the shields quite nicely. Can I get to him? You've got nothing, nothing! So it's proper like angry. I will obliterate your shields. Look okay. at a nice little backpack to blow up. That'd be lovely. You felt that. Yes! Sit down, Mr. Medic. Right, missing ammo now. What have we got available? Three shots with the pistol. Use them wisely. Great. <laughs> okay, that is a pretty good pistol, actually. It is very, very good. Uh, let's see if we've got anything else available to use. Uh, 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 uh. Does this have any ammo? It does. All right. Whee. Keep hitting him. Yes. Eat that, you fool. Exactly what I've done, Sarah. Some behind me? How? That might make a bit of sense, actually. Where are you? This place is massive. Little make it there as well. Right, I count two more left. Oh, got myself in a bit of a tight spot there. That was a very good find. And 10 copper as well. We're we supposed to be here yet. <laughs> Have I like skipped forward by accident? Definitely. Whoa! I'm going to end this. Oh, I 
with an absolute Jesus out of me. Yes! Level me up! Right, we do have the shotgun, which is very tempting. We've also got the laser in there as well. Uh, oh boy. I've got two skill points. What? When did that happen? Really? You're too nice to me. Yeah, we're going to go for shotgun as well, then. I've decided. I'm going to kick ass with my shotgun. Right, so in terms of Mora, I got a little bit confused. I got mixed up with some of my quests. But Mora, there should be a clue inside this ship. At least that's where the... Oh, what's this? Is that a note? Oh, boy, I found it. Another slate. Okay. Is Vanguard Moira? Sorry if I had to reclaim some UC property. Okay. But this whole star yard is overrun. I've patched up my ship and I'm heading to Neptune. Going to put in another request to get the fleet out here to deal with these spacers. But until then, if any of you thugs are listening, I'm the damn ghost stealing your stuff in the night. Clear out while you have the chance. This is Vanguard Mora. Sorry if I had to reclaim some of the UC property, but the whole star yard is overrun. I patched up my ship and I'm heading to Neptune. What the? Is that where we're going next? It's actually not a bad plan. Much better odds destroying one of their ships than fighting them all at once here. All right, let's get to Neptune then. I guess that's where we're going next. This is kind of weird. It feels like we've had a little exploration of our galaxy that we are obviously quite close to, <laughs> which is quite nice. The galaxy we're actually within. Gone to pretty much all the planets at this point. Not, not quite all of them, but you get what I mean. Okay, so that tiny little slate, that was that was what I was missing. Uh, I'm glad we found it, though. Right, balls. And let's go to Neptune. I'm, I don't think it's going to be particularly difficult to do. Um, to get to even. Oh, show a little sleep. I don't need to. Don't need to sleep. Right, Neptune, here we go. I believe we have to undock. And then we can uh, obviously jump. Grab jump to Neptune itself. Right, let's have a quick look. Where do we need to go? We know where we need to go, but you know. Set course. We should be able to get there fairly quickly. Punch it! Do we even need to punch it? It's probably that close. Neptune, here we come. So that other slate that we found earlier was something separate, a compl another complete different mission. No time to take in the sights. That could be our vanguard. It could be. What have I feeling we're going to get attacked? Something's wrong. Yep, knew it. The ship's weapons are powering up. Get Shoot. ready. Um, but I don't have anything left. Oh. Vanguard to civilian ship. Come in. If you stop shooting at us, we'd be more than happy to respond. It's not me. Or it's not me. Might find a couple of them, but they might be down. Really could use an assist. We blow that ship out of the stars. He's dead and our artifact's gone. We're what going do you do to then? Forward. Target the engines. Once they stall out, we'll have our chance. But I don't want to keep just shooting it really bad. What do I... Oh, I don't want to do. I don't want to do. Turn down the engines a little bit. At least some ballista. Do not want to be using missiles. Ah! We got a little bit too close there. Whoo! Is he doing anything? I know he's going really quick. Of course he is. Uh, missiles looking. Guess any engines at the rear, right? Ship is critical. Come on. I want to blow it up. What, what am I supposed to do? Can we cycle through the targets, maybe? Is this going to blow up? Yep, great. Okay, we can dock it. it. Oh, nice. Stop yes. The 
Fuck it. So I thought I failed then, sorry. <laughs> I like, I'm, I've, done, I've screwed up, okay? I'm gonna have to restart this. No, we did, we did fine. So we're gonna board this ship now. I wanna take it over and take, and take it for parts. Right, this could be hostile. I didn't quite understand what he was saying. I was like busy trying to shoot and his voice was very, very quiet. All right, more. I can't imagine there being much room to uh, navigate and uh, it's gonna be quite a small ship, right? Yeah, there's targets on the map. Oh, what a surprise to see you guys. What a surprise. I'll oh, see the skill. We improved our shotgun skills. So, might as well use it. I'm gonna go down. That's it. Sarah, you good? I did um upgrade my skill, didn't I? I did. Yeah, shotgun. So I need to get 20 kills with a shotgun, okay. Noted. Try that now. Not, not 20 in here, of course, but you know. <laughs> they can't take it. I'm too good. I don't even need a gun. Jesus. Corrosive gas. What's that doing inside a ship? Suit's trying to heal. Give me a little hit. Uh. Wasting my time. Get the key. Oh, you have the you have the key. One thousand six hundred credits. Well, I can't thank you guys enough. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, you can keep your weapons. I've got like fifty of those. Uh, Spacesuit workbench. Ooh, hello. Can I change the colours. <laughs> uh, got my priorities right. I I bet there's going to be some really. Ooh. Oh, mods can we put on it? Extra capacity, hazard protection, O2 reserves as well. Again, all these we can't do. Polymer, sealant, no. What's that? Power booster pack? Oh, oh damn know. cold here. Whoa. Going to need a hot cup of coffee after this. Oh, I thought we were getting attacked again. Right. We have the key. Is he. Are we in here? And there he is. So someone hacked your ship. What happened? I've him to save you. I've traveled the galaxy. Am I glad to meet whoever you two are? Looks like we're all in one piece. Any day you walk away from, right? Exactly. We did good. Bridging our hostile ship and saving lives. My kind of party. Now oh, I yeah. know that kind of talk. You two Marines? Not Constellation, quite. actually. What? Seriously? Man, I've heard stories, but I had no idea you all were this dangerous. We've heard stories, too, about a strange object you found on patrol. So, you know what that thing is. I tried to hawk it in Sidonia, and the guy thought I was peddling phony titanium. Mm, it doesn't play nice with scanners. It'd be worthless to someone trying to flip rare minerals quickly. So you're saying I shouldn't be using it as a hood ornament? I'm going to groan on behalf of scientists everywhere. And then you're going to hand over the artifact. Please just hand it over, please. Hey, sorry. I just didn't know what it was. But I guess that's what you all are for, right? So does he have it? Here. Happy to trade a novelty for a rescue any day. Let's grab the artifact. Well, there we go. We actually got it. Right. Uh, where is it? Did he? Did he give me it or? Um. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I can see. Good work. Nice. Let's get back to the lodge. That went pretty well. Well, I hope you have a good day. Thanks again for the rescue. Um, yeah. I don't know what I would have done if you hadn't jumped in. Probably would have died 50 times over. All right, let's head back. Well, that went pretty well. So fact, the fact we have another piece of the artifacts, that is a good day's work, I'd say. I'm happy with that. Yeah, ship's not in um great right. condition, is it? Let's get this crate into space. Right, let's undock first. And go back to Atlantis. I guess that's where we're going anyway. 
Yeah, return to the lodge. Do do do. Can we set a course, please? Uh, the lodge is here. Yes. Land, please. That went pretty well. The fact we've got another piece of the artifact that was just hanging in the cockpit of some random guy's uh, ship, and we have it now, um, is pretty good work, isn't it? And we're right next to the lodge as well. A lovely 21 degrees. That's a nice temperature, 21 degrees. I'll take that. All right, let's do this. Captain. We have it. We do. Go ahead. Do the honors. We do, we do, we do. Let's pull it on. It fits. Energy yes. spiked a bit, but it's restabilized. Is How many more pieces are there? No, it's the same as before. There's a massive output as the artifact is added. Then it harmonizes. Like it's waiting for the others. Hmm, that's speculation, but I think you're right. We need more. Here. You've earned this. Welcome to Constellation. As a full member this time. Ooh, we've got the full spacesuit. The, the space helmet as well. I'm honored to be part of this. I expected champagne. What does it mean to be a full member? So is that Sarah's stats, I guess? Honestly, this just makes it more official. Call it right person, right place, right time. But once the artifacts started coming together, you were one of us. I am honoured. I did also expect some champagne. Well, if you ever find a relic bottle from Earth, we'll all be happy to share it with you. By the way, how would you like to keep travelling together? I'm not sitting behind my desk for this. These artifacts are a new chapter for Constellation, and I'm going to be out there for it. And I want you out there as well. You got results. <laughs> I need someone like you watching my back. Um, sounds good, to be honest. I work better alone. I am definitely happy to have her along for the ride. Yeah. All right. Yeah. We've got a few more leads we should talk about. First, there's an expedition that Samco has been putting together. It's in Free Star Collective Space, and he okay. knows it inside and out. There's also the Eye, our star station in orbit. About time for you to meet Vladimir. He's been hard at work tracking down more anomalies. And last but not least, Noel. Have we heard anything from Barrett yet? A courier from Argos Extractors came by to let us know they're packing up the operation on Vectera. But that's it. No other word. Mm, that's not good. We should get over there and check on Barrett in person. 400 XP? Yes! Let's trade some gear. Who is who is this Sam exactly? The Empty Nest. Do they, I'm not even double check this, but do missions have like a sort of mission recommendation or requirement? I don't even know actually. Um, who is this Sam Co? Oh, that's right. He wasn't here when you first showed up. No. He should be back by now. I'll let him handle the introductions. If I steal his thunder, I'll never hear the end of it. I bet. Um, what can you tell me about Barrett? His mind is always somewhere, but there's no arguing his knack for being in the right place at the wrong time. Oh, too bad he couldn't see the artifacts coming together. But knowing him, he'll be so excited when he gets a look, it won't occur to him that he's missed anything. Uh, what else can we do? Wait here a moment. What's what's the eye? Who's this Vladimir? Must we maintain Russian, a star imagine. station in orbit above us. It's where we do all our deep space scanning. Ooh. Vladimir runs the station. Brilliant astronomer. Years of practical experience. Oh, lovely. Oh, hello. There's lots of you dialogue here. Thought or something? Oh, give me a second. Um, what do you recommend doing first? It's all important. But if you want a direction, I'd grab Barrett first. Okay. He's not just an old friend. He's been all over the settled systems. Maybe we can grab Barrett then. I think it's time we went our separate ways. Do you mind if I ask you any personal questions? Um, how did you know there was an artifact on Victor? You can Victoria. thank Barrett for that, if he's still around to thank when this is all said and done. Honestly, he took this seriously before any of us. It was at his urging that we started doing deep space scans. 
I will admit, it was something of a shock to see Barrett taking anything seriously. I bet he was. Is there any more personal questions we can no, ask? it's fine. Go ahead. There was a couple of... No, that's, we've asked those already. What Talk I really want to do now is find somewhere... Oh, we have leveled up, actually, as well. Somewhere to sell our gear. Like, we are getting a little bit full, aren't we? Um, I will work on laser weapons. Yeah. Do it. Yeah, I want to go and find somewhere to maybe sell our gear because we're a little bit... We have too much, basically, and we might as well try and sell it if we're allowed to. Um, I don't really know where we would go, honestly. We could try some of these shops down here. Um, let's have a quick look at the... Does the map give us any sort of hints of maybe where we could go? Talk to the bartender at Viewpoint. Frontier, New Atlantis. I'm not quite sure where to go, basically. <laughs> Shoot. Let's have a look around. All I want to do is sell some of my stuff. Does Sarah stay with us? Hope she does. Information. Oh, what's this? Uh, corporate directory. It's got like a coffee place, a tavern, medical. It's got enhanced that commercial. Okay. Might be worth having a look around. Maybe buy some new clothes. I mean, if they buy stuff from me, please let I'm, me know if I may. You won't find a I'm larger good. array of options in all the settled systems. I guarantee you. I guarantee I'm sure you'll it. be satisfied with the selection. I guarantee it. So can we sell? What can we sell? We can, only, we can only sell apparel. So there's certain apparel I don't want. That is incredibly tight. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty happy with what we've got. So we can sell the rest of the stuff we have. We don't need it. It's not really worth that much anyway, but. See, this one's quite tempting. It's got five of these in stock. Green fashionable suit. Pretty similar stats to what I've got already. But the thermals go up. Corrosive and radiation do go up. But persuasion is plus 5% chance. Which is pretty good. I do quite like that. That is definitely a tempting option. Um, but I will leave it for now. I'm going to be tight with my money, okay? I'll see you again, I'm sure. Thank you very much. New Atlantis, here we come. So there's a few shops along this street. That was the first one. Uh, that's a tower. I don't want to go in there. What is this place? I don't think that's a shop. Give me some more shops. I want to go shopping. Is this just more clothes? CJ's. Oh, there's a store that's open 49 hours. Let's have a quick look. CJ's! Hello, CJ. How you doing? Thanks what for do you sell, by. my friend? What brings you in? What yeah. do you have for sale? Let's get you settled. Okay, so he sells me food. <laughs> Baguettes and stuff. Med, ooh, med packs. They're quite expensive. Uh, anything, again, we can sell? Let's have a look. There's a few things we can sell. Alien sandwich. Some amp. So this gives us movement speed for two minutes. And my jump height goes up as well. Honestly, that sounds quite good. Treats infections. Antibiotics. Definitely worth keeping. Uh, lots of like puncher wounds. We may need to keep that. We can sell the cheese though. Sell some grapes. <laughs> uh, treats burns and frostbite. Again, they sound quite useful. So I'll keep that. Definitely keep so how does he sell them for 500 and we only get 65 for them? That is ridiculous. I can no always problem. use the business. Oh, my Dory fan. Hello. By Vectera, by Vectera, oh, by wow. Vectera. I can't believe it. Oh, this is, is kind of weird. Is it really, really you? It is. It Captain is me. Captain of the frontier, bane of the fleet. Constellations, shining stars. He's a big fan, stars. isn't he? It's it's me. I'm no shining star. I'm just a member. Get away from me, you weirdo! <laughs> then the day is truly. Give me blessed. the gift. Because for a moment, I wasn't sure if you were real or just another hallucination. Oh, I'm definitely. But now that I know it's you, what are the odds? 
And to think, I almost went for coffee instead. But I changed my routine for one day, and here you are. It's almost like it was Look meant hair, to man. be. Hair is actually ridiculous. This is clearly destiny. Yeah. I know, right? I agree. Give and me the present. Try to fight destiny. Give me but a you gift. probably aren't going to win. Although, if I'm being honest, I'd wager you could beat just about anything, even theoretical concepts. But why would you in this case? Either way, it's such an honor to meet you. Hey, do you mind if I follow you around? Do you need a sidekick? What am I saying? You're a hero, of course you do. Lead the way. Oh boy. Um, a sign? Yeah, I guess so. Welcome aboard. You won't be disappointed. Yeah. What am I doing? Yeah. So I've got the adoring fan and Sarah Morgan as my crew. <laughs> Yep, confirm, I guess. As you can see, um, Sarah's definitely a bit more effective, to put it bluntly. So we can put Sarah also in the ship as well, but I'll leave her just to be... She's just with me at the moment. That's fine. All right. Adoring. I was hoping for a gift. How can I be of service? Let's oh, trade. What have you got course, for me? Of course, oh kind and benevolent hero. I will accept all that you have. It's weird having nice. That is, that is weird. Yeah, so we've got an outfit we can take here. <laughs> and some ammo. Sure. Can I just take that? Let me take it. Apparently I can't take it. Okay, fine. Screw you. Can I ask you a personal question? Of oh, course. boy. Of course. I'm an open, I'm open book. book. Read me. Oh. Write me. Listen to me on your preferred electronic device. Why? It's all Why? Fun. Why, why, why? Um, we need to talk about your fandom. You're not romantically interested in, in me, are you? Oh, don't <laughs> worry. That would be weird. My love for you is completely platonic. Okay. Unbreakable? Yes. Unyielding? Absolutely. Okay, you don't want to be that romantic? close. Romantic? Oh, God, no. I would never sully something so pure with something so ordinary. Okay, that's good to know. That's all I wanted to know, really. Yeah, we'll leave it Back there for now. Work, then. <laughs> CJ's is always open. That no was mad. She had a couple of bits, but nothing really too too crazy. Restores 20 health plus 8 carry capacity. Wow. Must make you big and strong, I you? guess. All right, should we go and explore some of these other shops? I've only been in two so far. I'm guessing there must be more. Give me a weapon store. That's what I want. Oh, we also, whoa. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie, that was pretty intimidating. They're gonna come and kill me. So we've got a tower here. Does this lead anywhere, like, in any way interesting? I think it's people's properties, right? Tower departments. I'm guessing we can eventually buy one. Which would be so, so sweet. What's this? Sprint for a thousand meters. For one sec. Arsenal. I like the sound of that. Yes! I'm where I belong! Oh, this is good. This is very, very good. Hello! There's nothing, nothing that Oop. ensures personal safety and security the way a firearm can. Yes! Welcome to Centurion Arsenal. It is my I'm so absolute happy. pleasure to assist you with <laughs> any purchases or questions you may have. All sales are final, but that won't matter because you will undoubtedly be pleased with your purchase. Oh, I you definitely will. Work. Right, definitely. I want to maybe even buy something look. as well. Like I'm, I'm all, I'm, I'm completely done. But that's also sell. I have so many weapons; it's actually ridiculous. That's a new sidearm, the Bashin side star, which looks pretty cool actually. I uh, will keep my cutter for now. Keep my laser weapon. These are pretty much. I'm pretty happy with these, honestly. Uh, try look at what I prefer. So that's got a long barrel. It's got a short barrel and a compensator. I will sell that one. Don't want an axe at the moment. Don't want that side star. That's worth a thousand. My parents gave me that pistol for free. Oh yeah, you do a twelve. Six. Two. Yeah, nine axes. Ha! 
Oh, this is going to be good. This Bye -bye. is going to be so good. You're here because you need And I've got a rough idea of what I want to do with the money something as well. You count on. Oh. That looks evil. But it is a lot of money. It is a lot of money. So the, you don't really have anything. Let's just quickly. Should we have to go for damage? The pure damage? It's not all about damage though, is it? Let's go for value. 27,000 for this rifle. 27,000. What? So this is a modified laser rifle that we've got already. But it's... I've got a tactical battery and it's fully automatic. So... Can we compare... Compare to... I can't compare to what I've got equipped, which is a bit annoying. That is pretty good, though. It is pretty good. I love some of the customization you can do to these weapons. It's very good, very good. See, it only does free damage, but obviously it is fully automatic. I'm really tempted by that. Yeah, we're doing it. It's equipped. I've done it. Fully automatic. Boom, baby. I was pretty sure not to fire the weapon in here, should I? Probably not a good idea. Looks like you can't steal these items as well, which would be a little bit tempting. Yeah, I really want to go and upgrade the ship um, with some of the money we've got. We did pretty well there in terms of like making good money. So let's go and upgrade the ship. I have something set in my mind that I want to try and do. Something pretty simple, just upgrade the amount of fuel we can carry so we can do bigger jumps. Um, that's the, like the simple goal I've got in my head right now. Uh, space port? Let's head to my ship. Right, where's that very useful gentleman that can potentially upgrade? Ooh. Anything I can help you with? Just how we trade. Ah. Well, this is useful. <laughs> uh... So can I just sell all my stuff from here? Looking very nice. And we have the brand new spacer as well. Ooh, that looks good. So, so good. And we can just sell it straight from here. That is so useful. Yeah, look at that. Don't need that. Get rid of it. <laughs> Basic booster pack. Don't need that. Got a bunch of helmets we don't really need. Uh, let's edit these by value. Do I keep these two? They are legendary helmets. Sure. I'll keep them for now. Yeah, can we talk about upgrading this ship? You need to offload? Trade authorities Please. always buy. Kiosk right here for you. Let's modify my ship. Sure. I really want to try and do this. So, uh, the ship builder. Uh, so, we're just going to just get another part. So, do, 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 add. I want to add fuel. Give me fuel. Fuel tankers. There we go. The most expensive tanker available. Which is... Gives us another, another 75 grab jump fuel. I would like to buy that. And then can we try and attach it somewhere? Right. So, I believe we need... Um, basically like a, a module for it to like attach to. So for example, this is, that is 50 grav jump fuel and a hole of five. So we need to select this. We need to delete it. And then we need to add a better one, basically. So add, I think that's a little bit more, yes. So it's 50 before, wasn't it? Yes, it's a slight improvement. And you see it attaches there, but you press the F and the R. I'm not sure what that's going to be on uh, on keyboard. And it attaches beautifully there. Very nice. I've got some more fuel now. Not loads of fuel, loads of extra fuel. I just don't have that. Yeah, it's a, it's an improvement. Um, this is a shield generator. Um, let's have a quick look at those stats and see if anything we can like maybe try and improve. So that is the one we had before. We can just upgrade it. I'm guessing, is that is that a lot better? Let's have a look at the stats. I'm trying to look at my stats that I have. So that's a B-class shield. Uh, five potential max power. A max, so the, the previous one was 310. This is 505. Regen rate is a little bit faster as well. Yeah, okay. So maybe 
we improve the shield as well. Yes, yes, yes. Right, so that's definitely not that's not equipped at the moment. But if we delete this one, whoops, uh, we're gonna then edit it, flip it, boom! We have a new shield. Ship reactor class. Ship contains modules that exceed reactor's class. Ah. So the reactor is not good enough. So this is the bit at the back, I'd imagine. So if I can just... I'm not going to do this, though, am I? It's just not... I can't just upgrade the reactor. No way. I mean, we give it a go, but... Reactor... Here we go. So... What is this one again? The 330T. Which is a class A. Okay, so I guess we need a better class than that. Even though they're all A classes. We've got a slightly more expensive one. Should we give that a go? Okay, that's not cheap, is it? <laughs> and will that just slot in? Man, that slots in. I will be so happy. Why is it not good enough? What's wrong with it now? Wowzers. Oh, this one's even more expensive. I can put that on. So that's gone. Still saying one error. One error. I'm spending 26,000. <laughs> wow, okay. I put something on this vehicle that currently is just... Is it the shield? Is it because there's like so much mass from the shield? So if I delete the shield... Um, obviously we want to add some kind of shield. But obviously one that maybe is not so heavy. Shield, shield, shield. So I think I, go, I went for the top one, didn't I? That is quite expensive. <laughs> uh, maybe... Yeah, that is quite a big jump. Maybe this one? I don't know where it's going to go, though. Does it go on the side? It does. I'm not sure I particularly like the look of it. But... Right, are we good? We've got one warning for sort of, um, basically, the handling might not be that great. Reduce mass or add engine to improve mobility. So we're a little bit heavy. But the shield's better, the fuel's better, and we've got a better reactor as well. So I think that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. I would like to accept the modifications. Yeah, buddy. I actually quite like the rear. That reactor like sticking out. Nicely done. And if we go, we can then look at the ship in all its glory. Very nice. You're about to see the changes. So there should be a bigger fuel tanker on this side. Extra fuel. Uh, the new reactor at the back. Look at that. Very nice. And someone following me. Oh yeah, of course Sarah. <laughs> I was like, who's following me? And my new shield. Yes. I spent a lot of money doing that. A lot of money. Kind of scary amounts of money, but... We do what we can do. We've done our best. Yeah, looking forward to upgrading that more. I actually quite enjoyed that. That was actually quite fun. There's a lot I edited, edited out. We can fast roll back to the ship. Vectera is where we're going to next. Uh, we should probably set a course. We want to save Barrett. He's in trouble. He hasn't been responding. So I'm guessing something has gone down. I would imagine the pirates have attacked again. And this time it hasn't gone so well. That is uh, my prediction. What the engines? All right, let's go, baby. Let's take it off. Do, does it look? Like the, does it look like the reactor's bigger? I don't know. Definitely looks different from the rear. For sure. See a new improved shield. I guess the shield's only going to be better though if we have the power available to put it in the shield. If that makes sense. So, yeah, we've got a lot of building to do with the ship for sure, um, and that will come. I mean, the shield said, still says three bars, so I'm guessing maybe it's just better. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, uh, let's set a course. Let's go and save a Barrett, please. Let's go. Level six now as well. I feel like we've done a fairly good job so far. Have gone downhill since the last time you were here. Argos has clearly washed its hands of this operation. Hmm. At least Lynn's alive. Lynn is still here. Well, you're back. Yep. 
I'm back, baby. Lynn! Oh, no. Don't oh, no. start. I've Sorry. had enough Barrett for one lifetime. Sorry. I don't need the sequel showing up on my doorstep. More pirates showed up when you were gone. We weren't as lucky this time. Calvert. Troy. Some of the new Dusties. They didn't make it. <sighs> I had no idea. I had no communication whatsoever. I would have come back sooner, but... Well, how could you have? Anyway. You weren't here. Anyway, I was pinned down behind some crates with Barrett. Bullets and laser fire everywhere. No smile on that damn carefree face of his. Like he knew this was it. I started stealing myself to go out fighting. Then that idiot puts his hand on my shoulder and says, Stay here, Lin. I got you. What is... Is he dead? He's not going to be dead, surely. That doesn't sound good. Not for them, anyway. Barrett is more dangerous than you might think. Oh. Next thing I know, two of the pirates are dead, and he's got Damn. the third one in a headlock. Drags him out into the open at gunpoint and demands to talk, or else I'm going to demonstrate Newton's third law on this guy's temporal lobe. And that's when they brought out Hella. Hella? Of course Hella got captured. Just his luck. What do you mean, oh, was Hella captured? Oh, it was going so well, it was. Damn. I didn't overhear everything. But after the ten longest seconds of my life, Barrett put his hands up. Ah. And both of them ended up getting taken aboard the pirate ship. I see where this is going. That's the last right. I saw of either of them. Fantastic. So we've got to find Barrett and Hella as soon as possible. But how? Ugh. They could have grav jumped anywhere. I tried pinging a transmission to the ship in the comms building before they left, but the pirates must have fried it. You want to try it? Go ahead. But the odds of them being alive, even if you could find them. <sighs> I've lost a lot of people on this run, Dusty. I just want to pack up. Fix the comms computer. Okay, let's get it done. I wouldn't say we're the most technical, but I mean, we'll give it a go. Uh, did my game just crash? Oh, what the hell? I'm so confused. Did it crash? What? I don't know what happened there. That was weird. Oh, my game crashed, but maybe it didn't. Oh, does this open it up? Yep. Let me in! Feels weird being back here already. Any signs of uh, any fighting? No, it looks surprisingly clean, actually. Industrial workbench. A new Barrett can handle though. He sounds like he can handle himself though. Right, I need to get in here. It's locked. Oh, of course it is. Oh, please get this to work. <laughs> I've only got four of these. Uh, I'm not the best of these yet, honestly. Um, I'm getting there, but yeah, it takes a bit of a bit of time. So that one works. Should we try this one? We got like maybe like try and plan ahead a little bit. Yeah, that's probably what I'll do. See now I'm now I've screwed up. Yeah. Definitely screwed up. So I need to go back one. Uh, does that fit anywhere? Fits there. You can use that one. Should we go for that one? I guess you got to look for the next layer. So yeah, that's the, that should fit the next layer. This one fits this layer. So slot the key in. Uh, was it this one? That, yeah, that one goes in. Yep. Uh, now I've got to find a single one. Shoot.
Okay, I think I've done it. Finally. Maybe. Yay! Okay, this all got lucky there. That easily since I traveled with Vladimir Sol. This seemed to work eventually. I swear, sometimes when I was doing that lock, it just wasn't possible to make it work. Oh, that's really weird. Anyway, uh, communication computer. Let's activate it. Look for power source. The computer is underpowered. So I've found two batteries so far in this area, which I've installed. But do I, I guess I need to find another one. Ah, is there a battery outside? Yay! Go me! Good job. Oh, is that one sealant? Is that? Oh, damn. I was hoping it might be sealant. <laughs> it's definitely not sealant. What else we got down here? Yeah, using the scan tool is pretty useful. Okay, so I found all of the batteries I need now. It's literally just outside. So hopefully we can get the communication device online. I think I found... Yeah, I will hopefully include the gameplay if I remember correctly. I'll probably forget, won't I? Um, but, yeah. <laughs> They're pretty easy to find. Right, let's put the last battery in. Oh, baby! Oh, yeah. I have to find a clue. Where could he have gone? Emergency transmission? Can't believe we got into this mess. Would you be quiet? Trying to make out the grab jump calculations before we're out of range. Out of range of what? Out of range of the sensor array on Vectera. You keep up. Once we're outside the star system, the bandwidth goes from instant speed to effectively never. What good is sending a transmission down there? You gonna tell Lynn how royally screwed we both are? She doesn't even have a ship. You underestimate how many of my admirers there are in the galaxy, Heller. One of them is bound to show up. Looking to reunite with this handsome face. <laughs> we're doomed. Capital D He's doomed. Cookie. Give him that. Got it, okay. Whoever finds this, I'm attaching the interstellar coordinates to the metadata on the transmission. Rescue us. Repeat. Rescue us. Why does he emphasize rescue us now? Okay, unidentified ship, pirates incoming, identified ships. And then that's us coming in as well, I would imagine. Yep. All right. See, another set of pirates turned up. And they weren't so lucky. So do we know what... I don't quite... Oh, that's Sarah. I didn't quite work out where that... Where, where are we going? <laughs> maybe Lynn knows? Maybe, maybe she Maybe you can hint? I don't know. I'm so confused. They didn't really tell us, like, go here! Come and save us! Just emphasize the word res rescue us, please. Maybe Lynn knows. Lynn, is anyone else alive here? Is she by herself? So, you actually get that computer working again? I did. I found a transmission. What? Let me see that. <laughs> Funny. Even knowing he's alive, I still never want to see him again. Hella, on the oh. other hand. Okay. Let me send you the location data embedded in the transmission. Find them, okay? Thank you very much. I knew it. You care about them. You're a softie. <laughs> well, don't start buying me stuffed animals for my birthday or anything. But yes, all right. I don't like seeing my people hurt. Aww. Even Barrett and Hella. I respect Just that. Just get after them, okay? okay? And hey, if you ever need a little extra help, I've been thinking about a career change lately. Ooh. Maybe it's time to put Argos behind me. One second, does she want to join the crew? I'd be, I'd be honoured. Seems like she's you've been keeping fit, busy, Dusty. Outpost management. If hmm. uh, you find yourself in need of a capable travelling companion, we should talk. My contract's up with Argos, and I could use a change of scenery. I would be honoured. I, I, I think she likes us, honestly. Yeah, you should come along. Works for me. I'm not fussy about assignments. I'll go where I'm needed. Well, thank you very much. So, um, I don't quite know. Yeah, so she's been assigned to the ship. Yeah. Samati um, is where we're going to next. This is where we believe the pirate ship has gone to. 
with Barrett and Hella. Um, hopefully, we can get there in one piece. Fingers crossed. Yes, my Dorian fan is here. Lynn is here as well. Would you look at that? Oh, so good. So, so good. Get a nice little team together. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. I was going to say Barrett. And Heather, of course. I am ready. I'm a bit concerned about where to find that battery. I'm, I'm pleased we found it here. I'm pleased we managed to open up the door. I don't know why it eventually seemed to to work that door. I kept getting a, a circle with just one slot and it's, it would, wouldn't work. I, I don't know. But I managed to make it work in the end. Uh, right, that's set of course. I'm hoping we can get there in one piece. Yep. If that's possible. Let's travel. Let's fly, baby. Let's fly. Let's see, with that slightly larger fuel tank means we can uh, do bigger journeys, which is nice. Across more systems. We've arrived. Okay. Why is there just debris everywhere? Can we land? Let's have a look. Let me land. Set course. Yep. Yeah, we are. There's a crash ship, apparently. Is that a ship Barrett was on? Ooh, this is about to get juicy. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad you liked it. Yes, we don't know about our character having any kind of like piloting ship skills at all, but I guess we do. Um, he seems like a pretty good pilot. Seven degrees, barely any O2. Gravity is lower than one. Oh, there's enemies. Are we definitely in the right place? <laughs> yeah, let's try and find them, I guess. Apparently they're over there. How far's that? Some ships landing over there. I'm not quite sure where we're going. I guess we're going to find out. I hope it's not too far. <laughs> oh. That. Protection BJ. I'm in Rada. Hopefully, it's just over this hill. Use the hand scanner and place an outpost beacon. You were to place it right here. Seems a bit hostile, but we could do that at some point. I almost yeah, completely forgot that you can actually build an outpost. And, um, yeah, and just live here, <laughs> if you want. Oh, we have found the crashed ship. So Barrett should be on board, is that right? Oh, talk to Sarah. Sarah, look, 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 look. We found it. Thanks for taking the time to talk. Oh. I wanted to ask you about the artifact you found on Bectera. Why are you walking away from me then? I it from the rock. <laughs> Stop it. Held it in your hands for the first time. How did you feel? Um, I had visions, I heard music and sound. It's kind of difficult to describe, really. No, no, I, I don't think you understand. Oh. I know about the visions, the light, and the music. How did you feel inside? Um, what were your thoughts? Ooh. Like, my mind and body were out of sync. Powerful, like, raw energy was coursing through my veins. Um... Yeah, that raw energy sort of... I just passed out. <laughs> raw energy? Yeah. I've never heard that one before. I shouldn't be surprised. The artifacts aren't exactly what you'd call normal. That's a bit of an understatement, yeah. I'm sure there's a perfectly rational explanation. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, that's a bit of an understatement. <laughs> true, true. True, true. But hey, Barrett could be burning in that ship right there, it? by the way. The artifacts are so different, so alien, and I'm certain one of them reached out and spoke to you. Quite the mystery. Hmm, yes. It definitely felt like it was trying to communicate in some way. Yeah. It wanted me to, like, reach out, maybe. Agreed. 
Search Unfortunately, there's no way that I know of to reply. And believe me, I've been trying to gather data on the damn things for years. Well, that's why I'm here. This whole experience has um, been incredibly frustrating. I mean, wouldn't say it's been frustrating. I think we've done quite well so far. It's certainly a unique obsession. True. Uh, perhaps you're not getting enough support from your colleagues. What sort of data have you gathered? Um, is this the only project you've been working on? Um, what sort of data have you, data have you gathered? Not much, I'm afraid. Oh. All I have to show for my efforts are eyewitness accounts, scores of inconclusive metallurgical test results, and wild theories. Well, at least it's something. It's certainly a unique obsession. Does that really surprise you? A universal mystery left unsolved for God knows how long? Oh, I've been dreaming about solving this puzzle from the beginning. And then we get to the bottom of this mystery together. Oh, there's, there's a connection brewing here a little bit. Never mind the dream. Think of the fame. <laughs> I'm still not convinced there's a mystery to solve. I think there definitely is. I knew Ooh. I picked the right person for the Ooh. job. Look, I wanted to thank you for taking oh. the time to talk. So and good. for keeping an open mind. And I also wanted to say, well, I'm pleased we're on this journey together. <laughs> It's the best decision I've made in quite a long time. What was, what was that M bit about? <laughs> All right, that was definitely a co 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 connection. <laughs> I did that on purpose, by the way. <laughs> Don't know why. Uh, yeah. Our first connection, maybe. Anyway, um, I like how Barrett was potentially burning to death in the background, and we're just having a nice little general chit chat about the artifact. Lovely. Can I nick some of this shit, by the way? Nick some of its parts. It's, what? Who's that? Oh, it's Hella, I think. Yes, he's alive! Oh, hey, it's you. And here I thought you were some pirate coming back to kill me. Lucky me, right? Are you okay? You're on a lot of painkillers, otherwise you're in surprisingly good health, apparently. Yeah. Considering the spaceship wreckage, you mean? Yeah. Well, he missed the worst of it. Pretty sure we ripped through all the emergency meds that were salvageable. Hey, uh, you know, when I uh, pulled you to the med bench back on Vectera, I honestly thought, shit, I think I just saved someone's life. Oddly proud moment. Good. You know? You should be proud. So, uh, I guess I'm saying glad I paid it forward. Indeed. Without your help, we wouldn't have ever gotten this worthwhile addition to Constellation. Man, I was so terrified when I got pulled on board that pirate ship. There it was all. Sorry, brother. I'll get us out of this. Trust me. Nice story, but where's Barrett? <laughs> that doesn't explain the crashed ship. I'm guessing maybe they tried to take over, potentially. Trust me, it's my go in. It's my what's that? Is my go to line when somebody shouldn't trust me. True. Um, he said he had a plan. I explain the crash ship, oh, please. I'm getting to that. He tells me we need to start pretending to fight each other. Oh. <laughs> Trick the pirates into thinking they need to come in before one of us gets killed. I just remember him shouting this kid is a killer how am i supposed to defend myself against these pearly whites he's gonna bite my face off i mean i didn't think it would work but they came in all of a sudden we were wrestling with two of them barrett reached for one of their guns and he shot someone he shouldn't have oh no Oh uh, boy! Oh, did he shoot maybe the um a part of the uh, aircraft? The ship. Blasted the pilot right in the back. Oh. <laughs> Through to the flight console. Ah. And dropped orbit yep, that like a it. rock off a high rise. I blacked out, and when I came to, there he was, smiling, like it was just another day on the job. You missed the fun part, Heller. 
<laughs> I mean, I go through all the trouble of saving your butt, and you weren't even awake to notice. Then he did the little finger gun thing. <laughs> but where is he? I, I, I don't understand. He really survived the crash without a scratch. Well, without a scratch. No, I don't think so. I caught him holding his ribs a few times. Favorite his left leg a bit, you know. Oh, so he was limping a little bit. Um, so, so where is he? Oh yeah. Probably should have talked about that first. Yes. <laughs> Did I mention I'm on a lot of painkillers? Yeah, we can see that. Or your heart. So, I was real excited when a ship showed up. <laughs> then, less excited when I realized it was a Crimson Fleet ship. And then, really, really less excited when Barrett said, It's okay. I got this. Oh, he mumbled boy. something to him. And then they were all gone. They have him again? Are you kidding me? I was drifting in and out. But... Yeah. I think so. Got a signal from the ship before they grab jumped. Guessing it was Barrett. <laughs> Haven't really been in a good... <clears throat> space to have a listen. <laughs> Here you go. He's been taken hey, again. Uh, uh, I should come with you, right? I don't think anyone else is coming. Uh, let's get you on your feet. Um, could sit tight. I'll come back for you later. Oh, that's taken now. Yeah. Just uh, don't ask me to operate any heavy machinery for a while. Uh, give me a minute. I think the worst of it is... Yeah. I'll be all right. I'll be all right. Ready to wisecrack with the best of them. Let me know when you want to head out. Okay, so he's good to go. All right, good. We can recruit him as well. And I am apparently getting lots of recruits right now. I don't necessarily have space for him, but... I mean, we could. Still think there might be a spot for me on your Outpost ship? Outpost engineering. I gotta get off Ooh. this rock. They're definitely hinting, aren't they, that I should build an, an outpost of some sorts. Um... Yeah, let's get going. Do you have any skills that might be handy on my crew? You bet. I've worked on enough remote outposts that I know a thing hmm. or two about optimizing them for material well. production. And if you're in the market for a mining buddy, I'm your guy. Okay. Could be quite good. Yeah, let's get going. Whew. Oh, I'm glad to hear you say that. For a second there, I thought you were going to leave me behind. What's on the agenda today? Right. Crew for any locations can be assigned to a landed ship. So is he just going to be unassigned for now? Is that okay? I hope so. You got it. Catch you on the flip side, boss. Thanks for letting me tag along. See, I think it's just a part of our crew now. We can call upon him whenever we see fit. Ooh. Can we scan that? Okay. Scan any promising leads? Guess we can mine that. Yeah, so we need to find... I guess maybe we're too close to the crashed starship. Maybe that's the issue. Don't, don't get too close to that gas. Surface map, yeah. I'm, what does, that, does it give me any, like, reasons for not... Oh! Oh! Apparently we can do it here. So available resources, lead and water. That doesn't sound particularly like overly um, incredible. Um, let's try and head back to. Oh Jesus, they look big. Uh, let's not go and fight those right now. <laughs> let's not do that. Don't want to pick a fight. Where's my ship? Should probably know, shouldn't I? So if we try and put an outpost here, does it change? It's just water and lead. All right, let's do it. Let's do it on top of this, like, heel. Can I place this item? No idea if this is a good spot for an outpost. Absolutely no idea whatsoever. Uh, build. What do we need? So we've got extractors for lead and water. Okay. 
I'm just missing. A, oh, we're missing resources. We can't even build it. Ugh. Why? What about the lead one? We can get the lead one, right? I hope we can build it over here, actually. Potentially. Does it work? Yay! The extractor lead requires power in order to function. So we need to get some kind of like power resource. Solar arrays will be effective. Um, missing resources. The only thing I have available is solar arrays, but it does look pretty dark. <laughs> uh, so I'm not sure that's going to work. I don't know. We'll just build it anyway. Boom. There we go. You powered up your first object. Congratulations. Thank you very much. We've got storage. So I'm guessing... Um, oh, damn, there's some more adapt. Oh, so those adaptive frames, the things I was picking up earlier, were actually quite useful. I was just picking them up randomly, but they're actually pretty good. So if we then go to... Let's back out of this. There we go. It's got my solar array. That is now, I believe, mining. Digging away. Ah, crew. There we go. So can we assign Lin? Crew from any location can be assigned to a landed ship. Uh, if we then go back to do, 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 outpost, we can then obviously build more stuff. Is there like anywhere to like live? Airlock. Oh, it's an airlock. Oh, I need some sealant. What? What is the deal with sealant in this game? Um, we've got cooking stations, research labs, little defense as well. That might be quite useful. Let's put it next to my lead. <laughs> if anyone decides they want to take me on, got chairs, benching, sleeping beds, tables. Those are decorations and posters and stuff like that. This is where I got mannequins. That's a bit weird. Weapon racks and miscellaneous. Got like signal boosters, a landing pad. That is that possible? Can we do that? Cannot build item of. Oh, I was over me currently. What? Is it that big? Yeah, it's a pretty, pretty big. It's pretty big. Ah, there we go. That works. Where, where can I pull it? It's so big. Ah. And we can build that. We've got the iron. We've got the aluminium. Boom. We now have a landing pad. Yes! Again, this is all completely new to me. Um, completely new. I've got those things in my area, look. <laughs> That's not good. Right next to my landing, landing pad. Right, anyway, before we get distracted again, Barrett did send us a message. So I'm guessing that would be in our miscellaneous, maybe? Oh, I'll be on the notes, actually. Emergency transmission. You've given the fleet a lot of trouble, Barrett. Ah. Hey, since when is surviving being attacked causing trouble? Isn't that just fighting back? Hey, pilot, could you move your arm a little bit to the left? I can't make out the console. Don't move. He's trying to figure out our destination, probably transmitting this conversation right now while we're still in orbit. Well, yeah. Thought I was making that pretty obvious. Okay, okay, put the gun down. I'm done. See? My retinas are pointing away from the console and towards this lovely view of space we have out the window. Time up. Once we get back to the base, the fun starts. Now we're traveling to Bessel 3. Let's see if we can set a course. It's not too far away. Let's go. Adoring fan. Really does adore us, doesn't he? <laughs> he really does. Let's travel the stars. Been to so many systems, planets already so far. Do we have any uh, inkling of where he might be? Bessel 3, the Bessel system. I mean, I will take the XP, but... So we've got the outpost here. Can we scan it? Ooh. What's it got? Helium and aluminium. So obviously certain plants we might want to... So we don't need lead now or water. We have that. It's quite an extreme environment. 
Let's see if the mission pinpoints exactly where he might be. I hope it does. Set course. We are now ready to do. Oh, ransacked research outpost. Okay. We're going in. There's something about these research outposts that the pirates seem to like. I guess that's maybe where the money is. They're not fairly close. Will we finally save Barra or will he fly off again? Being captured by par uh, pirates twice now in the space of a very short amount of time. Right, let's exit the ship. Let's go. I don't know. Trees here and some grass there and this place might not look so awful. It does look pretty bad, doesn't it? Extreme ambient cold. Ooh. So we're freezing up a little bit. So if we can try and get inside, that'd be lovely. Might be able to get up this way. Let's try and get inside. Can you guys see anyone? Oh, yep, I see someone. Level two. So much for stealth, baby. Is he dead? Sorry, might get your gun out, love. Just saying. Oh no, level six. Love it. Another one's still alive. Huh. Oh, of course you've got to change your clip. Dead. That's a horror. That's a bit annoying. Health not looking great. Barrett, right, I'm going to save you. I promise. doing it. They've got very good aim as well. Like they pinpoint you from anywhere. Anyone in here? Ooh, a drilling rig. Don't mind if I do. Surprise! Nice to see ya! Ah! See you up here. <laughs> Do you like doing something to your spacesuit? Pirate survival pack. How am I supposed to get level 16 rover? Might be a good idea if I just try and get inside, honestly. Ready to go? Yeah, we're in. A level 16, like, rover just shooting me. I'm not, I'm not about that life. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. There was no certainty to the universe at all. I can hear him. You really start getting out there. Definitely hear it. Oh, a little bit. You're pulling my leg again, right? Picked up too much, basically. No exaggerations this time. Where's hmm. Sarah? Anything. Unicorn. Not kidding. Wait. Hello. The mythical mare with the magic horn thing. Maybe we can. Um, oh, Sarah's there. Yeah, Hello, Sarah. what is it? Was Let's trade gear. I think that'll do it for now. More of an extreme of file and vague shape of a horse. By my Howdy, point, boys. Stands, you need an open. Holy shit! <laughs> you actually found me. I did. I wish I could say this is the first time this has happened with Barrett, <laughs> but well, it isn't. Oh, lovely. Well, this is turning into a regular constellation party, isn't it? It is. I should have brought drinks. I'm here to take you home, Barrett. Yes, I don't know why, but yes. Are you friends with the pirates? Matsur the Grim here and I actually have a lot in common. Oh, good. Both escape artists. Being captured by Sistep myself plenty of times. See, that's what I'm talking about. Relativity. We're all just creatures of the universe trying to get away from what's after us. Anyway, 
Bap, I'm here to take you home. You know, it's actually been kind of nice. Matsura the Grim here is a great host. No Sloppy sense name. letting people's last moments be unpleasant. See, that's what I like about you, Matsura. Real renaissance man. I have enjoyed our time together, Barrett. But I can't just let you go with nothing to show for it. Is Constellation willing to pay ransom in exchange for this man's freedom? I'm willing to start a fight, if you want to. I want to try and persuade them. Let's do it. You want me oh, to end all this with nothing to show for it? I don't have any money, mate. I'm sorry. It's got three turns. I've got to try and fill up this bar. You clearly get along with Barrett. Your friends. It's all good. He has been more entertaining than yeah. most hostages. It's all good. Uh, do we take a bit of a risk here? I've only got... Oh, I don't know. Neither of us want to risk the worst happening. I think that's fair. This isn't getting It failed. Anywhere. What? Okay, this is bad. Uh, I've only got... Does that include the, this turn, if that makes sense? I don't know. Look, Barrett's more trouble than he's worth, okay? Yeah. He does yes. seem to be unusually skilled in yes. this area. Come on. It has some good friends, yes. it seems. Very well. You're all free to go. Wow. It's been a real pleasure, Matt. Sir. Let's walk out. Really? <laughs> good luck out there with all the, you know, hurting people and taking their money. Well, I never. That is incredible. That is absolutely He's incredible. Lols! I can help myself. Jesus, his bodyguards are pretty tough. <laughs> oh. He let me walk and I decide to try and kill him anyway. Sounds pretty good. Woo! That got a little bit juicy, didn't it? Damn. Sniper, oh. Sniper helmet. Yeah, that probably wasn't the, the best idea I've ever had, but oh well. I just got an orange juice. Oh, lucky me. Barry, you good? <laughs> oh, that's funny. I don't know if that was a good idea or not, but what's done is done, I guess. Nothing we can do about it. Was there a guy that died up here? I'm still used to this. I think the boost pack is quite weak at the moment. It's not really that that useful. Like, that guy managed to like do like a crazy jump. I did not. I can't get up there. It's like a semi like double jump, and that's it. As hard as I can get. <laughs> right, Barrett, are you good? Are you safe? Well, uh, I can't say I feel too bad about you killing someone who kidnapped me and probably murdered a lot of people. But... Did you know I was going to end up joining? Honestly, I was kind of rolling the dice with you. But hey, sometimes a bet pays off. Well, there we go. Who's that pirate anyway? Matsuo the Grim. Honestly? Pretty nice guy as far oh. as pirates go. I think I butted heads with his mentor once years back. Had the same kind of surprisingly hospitable vibe. Hmm. You were just laughing up the whole time, wasn't you? Hey, you're underselling my harrowing escape from certain doom here. A little charm goes a long way when the knives are out. As you can see. All right. Uh -huh. We're going back to the lodge. We may need to fight our way up, but we will get it done. That I can promise you. No doubt about it. Ooh. Please look through my weapons again at some point. Oh. The recon helmet. That actually looks pretty good. Yeah, let's, get, let's get back to our... Can we just teleport back to our ship? Is that even possible? From here. So we go to do, 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 the star map. Um, if 
Right, let's try and get back to our ship. No doubt they're not going to be particularly happy, are they? Right, go to the left and run. Just get out of here. I hope we don't run into too many of the Crimson Fleet around here. Well, uh, we may do. Our ship is just up here, and we're good. Bye, suckers! It's been good knowing you. Whew. That got mad. Okay. We're going back to the lodge, though. Barrett is now saved. Can't think of a better place to recharge and ready ourselves for our next mission. Agree. Satisfied with the quarters available to you. Here he is. We saved him. Some of us were. Oh. I see what you did, there, Walter. And I know you've been secretly crying into your piles of money just waiting for my return. <laughs> Actually, Walter has been complaining about you more than usual, which is always a sign when he's worried. Don't start, country. Wait, is that? <laughs> yep. <laughs> and to think the first artifact was taking up dust on the library shelf. Now look at them all. You feel it a bit, can't you? Ever since I found the second one, I had the visions. Being around them is just comforting so hey I, i'm still not a hundred percent plus i feel guilty dragging you into all of this why don't i stick around and help you get adjusted to the weird corners of the universe sounds good traveling together sounds good to me um yeah why not marvelous Burke is available to be your companion also a member of the crew lovely uh, we will level up. I want to try and upgrade my persuasion as well at some point. Uh, yeah, let's go for that, actually. I do like carrying my gear around and then selling it, making decent money and bucks. Uh, yeah, that's going to be where we pause this episode. It's been a good one. It's been a long one, I would imagine. I'm really excited for the next episode. And hopefully, you guys want to tune in. Um, very, very excited for this game. It's definitely delivered so far. Obviously, we're still very early on into like, we've barely scratched the surface basically of what this game has to offer. Um, yeah, very excited. See you guys soon and bye-bye.